The Sesh Podcast, episode 140, take one. Hi, friends, and welcome back to The Sesh. I am Kendall. And I'm Janelle. We're joined by Sydney. Crelly is busy doing something with Mile High right now, but she'll be joining us for the second half of our episode. And boy, are we excited for that second we half, are baby. so excited. We have today Sarah Gray. Some of you probably know her. We've talked about her before. Um, she is a TikToker who does prank calls under the character Sue Dillon. Any. Sound Honey, like this. Maybe you can teach us how to do this better. <laughs> so I'm not good at it. I can't do it for longer than like three seconds. I, know. I lose my breath. How does she do it for so long? I don't so know. Long. I'm going to ask her. I know. I'm going to, because I'm curious. So today we're going to be prank calling friends. We are so excited. We actually have a few people in our personal lives that we want to prank call. But we also asked you guys on Instagram to uh, submit people that you want us to prank call in your life. Mm-hmm. So we got some good ones. We're going to be, uh, Hitting up some pranks. It's big pranksters. Fun time. I'm yeah, so big excited. Pranksters today. I'm really, really excited that she's coming on the show because yeah. I've been watching her for a long time. It just happened to work out. Work out. Mm-hmm. She's um here for work or school. Or, yeah. Yes. Here for school. So yeah. So she's stopping by to do a few few pranks. So excited. Woo. Um, before we get into the fun today, we do have a couple serious topics that we really wanted to cover this week. We had mm-hmm. a lot of um, requests to cover two of these. Um, We're going to be talking about, well, first of all, I want to start by talking about Michael Turney. Yeah. Now, many of you probably have heard the news if you are big in the true crime space. um, And I'm sure most of you have heard of Alyssa Turney's case or know of Sarah Turney. I know we've mentioned her so many times just on this show. Mm -hmm. And she's become a good friend of ours since we started. She's so wonderful. She is. She's one of my favorite. She's just, after everything that she's been through, she is one of the most wonderful humans i've ever known she's resilient i know determined Mm -hmm. does so much she does it good for other Other people people. too she's like turned this into a whole mission yeah she's amazing anyway um i wanted to do a quick update on this um i know it's kind of not a typical topic for us but i really wanted to take the time and send you guys to voices for justice um sarah's podcast which she covers a lot of other cases on there it's it's truly amazing Mm -hmm. but Um, There's been a major update in that case for those of you who haven't heard. So Alyssa Turney, if you didn't know, was last seen May 17th, 2001, on the last day of her junior year at Paradise Valley High School. Um, Michael Turney told police that he and Alyssa argued that day about how she wanted more freedom. Police at the time determined there was no foul play in Alyssa's disappearance and believed that she was a runaway. And for a long time, that was what was believed. Even Sarah believed her dad for a period of time. And then, you know, the more she looked at things, she realized... That he, he had to have been involved. Yeah. Um, and Alyssa's sister, Sarah, has just fought for years to get justice for her sister. Um, and, you know, I know she's been super, super grateful for everyone out there who has supported her, um, covered the case. There have been so many creators who have covered it. Yeah. Um, I worked. Sarah was actually the first family member that I worked with. Mm-hmm. Um, I will have that link, that video linked below. On Mile Har- um, no, on your channel. Yep. Then she came on Mile Har- Yep. Yeah. Yeah, she's amazing. she came on Mile Higher to talk about a different case though. I don't think we ever covered her case. She came on Mile Higher twice though. See, I think now I'm she getting did. confused. I can't remember. Oh no, she did come on Mile Higher to talk about Alyssa's case and too in the very early days. Yeah. Yep. yep. And then we had her on just to talk about another case yeah. with us. And we wanted to come back out and hang out soon because we love her and yeah. miss her. Um but anyway, um August twentieth, he was arrested for the presumed death of Alyssa and was accused of murdering her. So the trial started earlier this month, 2023, and on July 17th, the judge granted the defense's motion for acquittal. This happened, it was last Monday. Yeah. It was after we recorded this show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Devastating news. I didn't see that coming. I'd been texting with Sarah leading up to it, and I know she was nervous, but I just thought there's no fucking way that this is he's going to get completely acquitted and they dismissed all the charges against him and yep. he's free yep been ordered to be released and so obviously this is devastating for so many people especially sarah's family um her siblings as well and so sarah and her brother put out a 
really wonderfully worded statement yeah. um, on Voices for Justice. They didn't want the media to take that and run with it. And she thanked everyone for their support and hard work getting her sister justice. It's very emotional to listen to, especially when she addresses her sister. Yeah. And oh, God, it was my heart. It was yeah, it was very heartbreaking. And her oh. brother James did a great job as well, mm-hmm. um, speaking about the case and you know their goals moving forward. And they are actually donating all the ad revenue from that episode um, to causes. Re- of people that have helped them with the case. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. And a main point that she was that she made was to encourage people who are fighting for their family members to not give up and keep fighting. And you know, when I texted her, that was the first thing she said to me is like, "I hope this doesn't stop other families from you know pursuing justice." I truly don't know how she does it. Like I was I just trying to put myself in her shoes. I would not have the resilience and, and strength that she does to after getting probably like the worst news of your life or I guess Mm -hmm. second to finding out your sister's missing. Um, and then still, you know, going out there and trying to encourage other people and Mm -hmm. saying that, you know, to keep fighting for your family and that there's, it's still worth it. I just, I'm truly amazed. I know. And to try to make a positive out of it. Um, I know she's looking into her other options at this point. Um, but she really, you know, made it a point that she just she is very concerned that this will scare other people from going against the justice system because it is so broken. But I told her I think it's extremely expi- inspiring, and she's inspired countless families out there mm-hmm. um, to go after it anyway. And our justice system is extremely broken. Um, the state did a terrible job with this case. It's been very, very disappointing after everything that she's done seemed like they barely knew what they were doing leading up to it or like really took the time to make sure that they, they could actually win. Yep. Um, but, you know, I've told her too that that is such a win in itself, just at, just taking that on, going against the justice system. She should be so proud of herself. Totally. I know it's, it's hard for her, but I know deep down she knows um, what a win this was for her in a way to yeah. have gotten it this far. Yeah. Um, right. She put in so much work. So please go check out her statement. Um, give it a listen. And like I said, all of the um, ad revenue will be donated and send her any support. Um, I know she said that that's really helping her get through this time is t- just to hear from other people. Yeah. And, um, so we'll have all her social media and podcast link below so you guys can continue to support her. And we're sending our love to Sarah. Come visit us. Come hang out. I know she wants to see Charlie. She's a big fan of Charlie. Well, she has a dog. His name is Popcorn. Yeah. And he looks a lot like Charlie. Yeah. So we bond over Instagram DMs all the time about our little dogs. They're soul doggies. They need to get together. She should bring need Popcorn. To me, you need to meet your friend Popcorn. You look <laughs> like a little piece of Popcorn. <sighs> Anyways. But, yes. Um, we also wanted to, we've gotten a lot of requests to talk about Carly Russell. Um, we'll get to that in a second yeah. here. But first, we wanted to talk about a case. This is crazy. Yeah. So you want to take this? Sure. One? So this actually has to do with McDonald's lawsuit, folks, mm-hmm. by the Chicken McNugget. Yeah. So uh, back on August 21st of 2019, Felana Holmes, who is a mother of two kids, she went to McDonald's, bought a Happy Meal. Uh, This all takes place in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, by the way. Um, But anyway, she bought them for her son and four-year-old daughter, Olivia. So she gets the food, hands it to her kids who are in the backseat of the car. And as she drove away, her daughter, Olivia, starts screaming, freaking out. So they pull over and she went to go see what was wrong with Olivia. And she saw severe burns on her legs. So... This moving forward a little bit here, she actually told jurors that her daughter suffered second degree burns to her upper thigh. And she said that after handing the nuggets to her daughter, she dropped one on her lap and it got stuck between her thigh and her seatbelt. Oh, so dude, burns so are painful. just like so painful. On Especially a when level. you're a child, you can't like figure out what's yeah, going on what's or going get on. away from it. Right. Ugh. So Olivia's parents sued McDonald's and the franchise owner up church foods and were seeking 15 million for the burn. Um, and Olivia's parents said, quote, the McDonald's and the franchise owner failed to adequately train employees, failed to warn customers about the dangerous temperature of the food and for cooking the food to a much higher temp than necessary. That's always such a weird thing to me. Like, mm-hmm. 
why is it so much hotter? Same with the coffee thing. Well, yeah. Thing. Most of you know about the the famous yeah. McDonald's coffee lawsuit, which you may not know the full story about that. A lot of people still don't know yeah. and blame her. And it's yeah. like, oh, of course you want to sue McDonald's. Right. No, and dude. She, her legs were... She was ripped apart. Dude, it was lap. horrific. Oh the damage God. this woman suffered. I'll never get the image of her burns out of my head. And she was just ridiculed yeah. for so long. So it, was, it was such a sad case. Um. Anyways, so the first trial took place earlier this year in May, and the jury found that both McDonald's and the franchise owner were liable for failure to warn about the foreseeable risks of harm. So the lawsuit claimed that companies served food that was unfit for human handling, let alone consumption, due to the fact that it was so damn hot. Mm -hmm. And uh, the McDonald's and their franchise argued food safety rules require nuggets to be really hot. Otherwise, they're unsafe to eat. But again, like they don't need to be scalded yeah, hot. What excuse is I'm that? I'm also quite positive that McDonald's nuggets are already pre-cooked when they're delivered to them. They're just frozen. They just need yeah. to heat it up. Yeah. Anyways, the defense argued that what happens to a McNugget once it leaves the drive through window is beyond their control. So like I said, it's not really their fault. They gave them the food. No, that's the mom handed bullshit. the kid the food, especially in a happy meal that, you know, is for yeah, kids. Totally. I know it's ridiculous. So then a jury um, was gathered and created for a second trial to determine the damages. And this trial took place very recently, July 19th. So the family argued that 15 million is the least the corporation and franchise owner, again, up church foods can do to cover Olivia's past and future. And now Olivia is eight years old and she calls the scar on her thigh her, quote, nugget, and is very adamant on getting it removed. I would be, too. I don't blame her. And this is such a small amount for McDonald's to pay. Oh. Guess how much McDonald's makes per day Ooh, on average. Question. How much revenue? Per day. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have no fucking clue. Take a guess. Hit me with a number. <laughs> Think of how many they have in the world. 15 million. Triple it. No, quadruple it. 200 million. <laughs> no, 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 no. hundred million. You said 15, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. So that would be a Math? gazillion. Math is fun. <laughs> $63 million per Damn, day. Damn, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's quadrupled, right? Damn. That's insane. Yep. So a small amount for them to pay. Yeah, yeah well, her attorneys day. were arguing that she deserved $5 million to cover the last four years and then $10 million to cover the next 74 years, which is the rest of her estimated life. I don't know how they get that estimate, but whatever. Oh, God. So the attorney for the family, John Fisher, he said, quote, this is a verdict for all time. When we walk out of these doors, that's it. We don't get to come back and say, let's check on Olivia in five years. Let's check on her in 10 years. You have to do it now and you can never do it again. Um, and the McDonald's lawyer disagreed and argued that Olivia's discomfort ended when the wound healed. So basically, like once the burn mm -hmm. healed, you're not in pain anymore and you were only in pain for a few weeks. Um, and her mom says that, you know, the, she's the, kind of the one that's like, no, she still has a problem with the scar. She wants it removed. So it's still affecting her life in a negative sense. Mm -hmm. Um, and they said that 156,000 should cover Olivia's past and future. That's what the <sighs> defense is saying. It's nothing. In their closing statement, the defense said, quote, she's still going to McDonald's. She's still asked to go to McDonald's. She still is driving through the drive through with her mom getting chicken nuggets. She's not bothered by the injury. This is all the mom. So basically blaming it that the mom wants up the money and of that the course. kid like doesn't care or whatever. These greedy motherfuckers. So the jury deliberated and after closing arguments to decide how much money the family should receive. And they came out with their verdict um, and allotted $400,000 in damages for the past four years and then another 400000 for future, totaling 800000 which is um, a fraction of the, what, $5 million? Mm -hmm. uh, for the last four and 10. So a total of 15 million. So they got 800,000. Which her mom has made a statement that she's happy with yeah. the outcome of the case despite not getting what she originally asked for. And but still, she's just happy that they listened to Olivia's voice. And with those cases, you know, you got to ask for a lot more to land on a smaller number. Oh, of course. Um, and the jury was able to decide a fair judgment according to her. She said she's happy with that. I honestly had no expectations. So this is fair for me. And I think it's, I think it should have been more. But I think it should have been fair. more. Um, um, she said that she hopes McDonald's start putting warnings on their chicken nugget boxes. Well, that's why these they cases, do that on the drinks. Yeah, that it should be on everything if they're going to serve scalding hot food in a happy meal for children. Well, it's just odd to me because you could easily cover your ass McDonald's if you just put it in like the yeah. corner of the why happy meal box. Caution hot could cause burns. And why not just put it 
loud and proud. I don't get it. Well, What's it's not going to deter people from buying. No, the that's food. true. But I'm like, geez, at the very least, you could put it there and just cover yeah. your ass. Like, and that's why so these stupid. cases are so important. I hate that people give families like this that go after corporations for things like this. You know, there there's so many haters out there, but it's so important to then to prevent this from happening for other people to scare yeah. them into putting these labels on there and being more careful with what they serve. It should be temperature tested before it's put out the window. If it's enough to cause a burn like that. I know, that, it's really weird to me. I guess their argument would be like, this is fast food. We don't have time to stick a thermometer in every chicken nugget that goes out the window. Well, then at, there's got to be a way to at least make sure the oven doesn't, I they're agree. only in there for a certain amount of time and it's only a certain mm -hmm. degree. I don't know. It's just, yeah. no one should be getting burned that badly from a fucking chicken nugget. Oh. This poor kid. I've like definitely burnt my mouth on fries and stuff. Oh yeah, it's hot. I'm like, <laughs> which I will say, McDonald's food is so much better hot. The colder it gets, it turns into dog food. I think totally. You cannot eat a McDonald's cold. No, uh -uh. and I fucking love you have McDonald's. a thirty minute window. I love McDonald's, man. <laughs> People who are like, I don't eat fast food. I'm like, shut up. McDonald's is like the one fast food that I actually well talk about Taco too, Bell. but like. Burgers and fries land. I don't really, I'm not a really big like cheeseburger person, but McDonald's. You like their burgers? Mm hmm. It's all about mm -hmm. the, the fish, fries, baby. though. The, oh, that thing is nasty, y'all. <laughs> the fries are so good. McDonald's fries are the best fucking things. Oh, like, they are. So, when they're, they're, there's nothing like a crispy ass oh, McDonald's fry. I like them when they're like kind of gushy. Oh, no. I like really? the crunchy, yeah. Oh, I like the softer With ones. a Dr. Pep's on the side. The salt. Mm. Oh, oh, that's the thing, too, is their soda is like revolutionary. They do it differently than any other really? establishment. Yeah, because they get it. There's something about it. Sid, will you look it up? Yeah. They, they mix the syrup with the water when it's cold and they only they I store it, it in a like certain type of or something. No, they have a whole like proprietary method for their soda. Damn. Their I was watching Dr. a thing Pepper on it. Is good. They have they store the syrup and stuff in like a special type of metal container that what? no one else does. And yeah. Yeah. So right. Yeah. It says not only does McDonald's pre-chill the soda syrup, but they also pre-chill the filtered water that is going into the machine. Mm -hmm. And you can tell, baby, their That's diet so Coke is the good. best mm. on the market. Mm. You're I making me McDonald's. want. No, I want I yeah, now I want McDonald's. It's addicting. I think I'm going to do that so for lunch. So good. <laughs> I know. Their breakfast is so good. Oh. We got it yesterday on the way home. We it's were in the mountains. Oh so damn good. What do you get? The egg McMuffin. Like, but with no Canadian bacon. I like, I like the, the biscuit one better. The biscuit. Oh, I've never like, tried that. Dude, you, you'll like the biscuit. See, it's that's really buttery. Yeah. I am so stuck in my ways, especially with McDonald's. Same. I've really only ever had their like double cheeseburger and their egg McMuffin. I've never tried like any of the other fancier cheeseburgers. I never, I don't think I've ever had a nugget. From Are McDonald's. Mm -mm. Really? Those no. used to be my favorite. Mm -hmm. No, I'm like, I stick to the I, I think everyone has like their or order. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, but the biscuits are good because they're like the McMuffin, but the biscuits are really buttery. Oh, yes. I bet it's bomb. Fucking mm -hmm. good. Man. Oh, yeah. And you like their pancakes, too. I love their pan God, I used that's like a childhood staple for me, was their McDonald's pancakes or their mm. um McGriddles. Mm. Those slap their hash browns are so Fucking good. Holly had her first hash brown yesterday. Did she love it? Oh yeah, baby. She was into it. God, now I really want one. <laughs> <laughs> I love it too mm. because they're the um the potatoes are cut so small yeah. that I can give her like sprinkles sure. of it. And she, you know, there's no choking risk and it's good stuff. I like how we're promoting McDonald's. Sorry. <laughs> I fucking love hey, I mean they still go to eat at McDonald's. It's horrible I mean, that this happened. And yeah, obviously their McDonald's family is still assholes does. for yeah. burning their kid, but um Damn, they got some good food. <laughs> <laughs> they just need to be more careful about yeah. how they distribute it. So last Friday, I went out with my friend and drank a little too much. And the next day was not feeling good. But thank God for Liquid IV for bringing me back to life and giving me the real hydration that I so desperately needed. Liquid IV is the number one powdered hydration brand in America, and it's now available in sugar-free. Liquid IV has three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone. And they've got three new flavors, white peach, which is my personal favorite, green grape, and lemon lime. I love how convenient these little packets are. You can throw them anywhere, put them in your purse, put them in your car. You can even put them in your pocket, honestly. And then all you need is a glass of water and boom, you've got real hydration 
real fast. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. There's no artificial sweeteners and there's zero sugar, and they have a proprietary amino acid allulose blend, which gives it a sweet taste without the calories or raised blood glucose levels. It contains eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. And what's really cool about Liquid IV is that they believe that access to clean and abundant water is the foundation of a healthier world. So they partner with leading organizations to fund and foster innovative solutions that help communities protect both their water and their futures. To date, Liquid IV has donated over 39 million servings in 50 plus countries around the world. Real people, real flavor, real hydrating, now sugar-free. Grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code SESH at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you use promo code SESH at liquidiv.com. So anyway, let's get Big into... Story. Carly Russell. Holy shit. Now, so many of you have requested me to do like a full coverage on this. I don't want to. Um, there, I, I have a lot of other cases I'm working on and I don't want to spend time on this, but I wanted to at least address it here in the session. God, every day I get on Twitter. Every it, single day. It's, um, I'm getting so many mentions asking me to, to cover this literally multiple every day. Side note, before we even get into it, you're going to talk about Twitter. Yeah, there is so much. Oh, not Twitter. Oh, Twitter. Yeah. Elon's an idiot. He's changing mm -hmm. it to X. Mm -hmm. like stupid ass. But no, I, I wonder was, if by the time this goes up, probably. He said so it was supposed to happen yesterday. Too. So random. He's like, oh, dude, he's going to this stuff the day of, I swear. He's like literally dreamed it and woke up and tweeted it. Stupid. But what I was going to say is there's so much fucking bullshit on Twitter about this yes. case. It yes. is. So we've tried very hard to only include things that we could fact check and find in multiple places on the internet mm -hmm. because there's a lot of stuff that I would find on Twitter or that Sydney would find on Twitter. And then we'd be like, I I'd start Google search. I'm like, I don't see this no. anywhere. No, there's so much misinformation circling lot. around this. So And, and TikTok too. Yes. It's bad on TikTok. Well, and yeah. also keep in mind that this story is, you know, this is still it's evolving. Developing. So yeah. there could be things by the time that this episode comes out that we don't have in here, but... Mm -hmm. This yeah. is what we could gather. Okay, for today. let's let's go over it for those of you who <sighs> haven't heard. So you start. Yeah. So um, Carly Russell, um, she first went missing last week. When, right before we went camping, I had seen it on Twitter. Right before I lost service, I yeah, started so reading about it last week. Really scary. Um, yeah. So it was July thirteenth. Yep. Which was that Friday, correct? Mm -hmm. Or maybe Thursday. I don't know. It Actually, it might have been. That Friday, yeah. No, it was Thursday. Yeah, okay, Thursday. so yeah. I started hearing about it Friday. And this case got a lot of attention, which is rare. Um, for those of you who don't know, 90,000 plus people are missing in the United States. Most of them do not get a fraction of the coverage yeah. that this case did. Yeah, And this one was picking up a lot of steam. And I was happy to see that, mm -hmm. especially for a black missing woman. Mm -hmm. um, oftentimes, black people do not get the same coverage that other people do. So I was encouraged to see that there was such an effort that so many people had heard of it. It was going pretty viral. Totally. Yeah. So she was driving home from work that day. By the way, she's a 25 year old nursing student. Just yes. kind of like get a, get a little, a little bit of context. background. Um, she was driving home from work that day and grabbing dinner. She went on I-45-9 in Hoover, Alabama. Um, when she called police, to report seeing a lost child in a diaper and a t-shirt just walking alongside the highway. And I think that's part of the reason why this got so much attention at first is that just is such a scary thought yeah. and people were very intrigued. Um, so after calling 911, she stopped to check on the child, according to her, and called her sister-in-law to let her know what she was doing. Her sister-in-law lost contact with her, but the line remained open. Carly's mom told police in the process at some point she got out of the car and my daughter-in-law could hear her asking if the child was okay. The child did not respond or at least she did not hear he or she respond. And then she heard our daughter Carly scream. And from there, all we could hear was noise, background noise in her phone, which we later found out was noise from the interstate. And once police got to the location, they reportedly found Carly's red Mercedes still running and her wig, her cell phone, and her purse with her Apple Watch inside of it on the side of the road near her car. There also was food that she had ordered from this restaurant called Tzatziki's. There was no sign of Carly or the toddler. 
which was very scary. And police also said there were another, no other calls made about a missing child that evening. So on July 15th, AI.com uh, YouTube channel posted the video with the dispatch call, audio and video of what they believe was Carly's car, car pulled over to the side of the road. Do we have that? Are we going to take yep. a look? Yeah, let's watch it. All right. Because you can see her get out of the car. I can't see her. What be, What happens beyond that, mm -hmm. though? 442 for a 71. 42. 71. It's going to be... See all the other cars. 459 mm -hmm. South. Busy. On Marker 10. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a child walking on the... Three or four-year-old child walking on the side of the interstate. Like their RP is going to be close by in a red Mercedes sedan with a hazard zone. Child's going to be a white male wearing a white T-shirt and a diaper. 42 copy from Watson. Yeah. And four. So she has her hazards on if you're listening. She's pulled over on the side of the road and there's tons of other cars going by. You can see her get out, walk around. RPs advising. Yeah. Can't see a child. There's no anymore. cars in the area. Mm -hmm. Looks like the child's been abandoned on the side of the road. She's standing on the passenger side of the car yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And you can, it's it's pretty grainy. It's not, yeah, it's not great quality. 442, you're actually going to have to access from 31, they're going to be plotting just before the exit. 441, can I get you to head that way? Head the room, even that way. And she, you can tell she's still standing there. Still standing there. It doesn't take long for the police to show up. Mm -mm. Everyone, you still got a lot of phones. Yeah. Negative, but she's saying that she would stand by for police. Where's this kid? Nowhere to be seen. That's so scary, though, if you saw a toddler walking on the fucking oh interstate in the dark. Yeah, terrifying. Especially if they were being CLA, used as bait. Color to yes. Nicole Russell out of Birmingham, 10 11. You can skip forward a little bit, soon. Getting the female to answer. Thank you. Yeah. Before yeah, there's not like a whole yeah. lot more to see, and then yeah, yeah. the police eventually mm -hmm. pull yeah, up. Go for it a little bit. You can see the police. Yeah, they show up. 33. That's pretty much it. So yeah, it was like three minutes. Took them to get there, but long at all. The next day, Friday, July 14th, Alabama law enforcement issued a missing persons advisory for Carly, and officers from surrounding local and federal agencies assisted Hoover Police in finding Carly. K-9 teams from the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department re responded to check for any sign of Carly as well as the child that she claimed to see and anything else that be could be considered evidence. Those searches all turned up empty. The community, including Carly's family and friends, were beginning to look everywhere for her to find any trace of Carly throughout the day Friday and again on Saturday. And, you know, they were reaching out to people on social media trying to really raise awareness about mm -hmm. her disappearance. Very scary, especially um, when someone goes missing off of an interstate. Um, yeah. You know, things start coming to your mind. That's a very common way for traffickers to get people out quickly. Um, so time was of the essence. And it didn't take long before Carly's disappearance became national news and it was trending all over social all media. Over. Um, an anonymous source offered $20,000 for a reward and $5,000 was raised by Crime Stoppers in the efforts to locate Carly. By Saturday, the reward had risen to $60,000. Um, Carly's pictures were circling all over social media in the effort to help find her. There were tons of people searching for her. Tons of people volunteered. Specifically, this woman, Angela Harris, took lead in the local search. And she is the mother of Anaya Blanchard. Anaya was a 19-year-old Auburn student who was reported missing in October of 2019, October 21st, 24th. 4th. And she had last been seen at a Chevron gas, gas station in Auburn, Alabama that previous night. And her body was sadly found in Macon County, Macon. Alabama. Macon? Yeah. Thank you. Um, one month after she disappeared and the cause of death was determined to be a gunshot wound. So she really stepped up. Um, to, she has a, a passion now for all missing people, and it was really amazing to see what she did. 
Carly's parents were also searching in other southern states at this time as well. And then on July 15th, 911 received a call from a Red Roof Inn motel in Vestavia Hills. Mm -hmm. The Red Roof Inn claims that the family members of Carly showed up and told the person in the lobby that they received a call from Carly saying that she was in the motel. However, police said there was no evidence of someone signing in under her name. But then after two days of Carly being missing, she suddenly returned home to her parents' house Saturday night all alone. At 10.45 p.m., Hoover 911 Center received a call from Carly's residence saying that Carly had returned home on foot and police went to her house to investigate. And the Hoover fire medics also came to assess Carly and then transported her, transported her to a local hospital for evaluation. Detectives were able to obtain a very brief statement from Carly prior to being treated and released from the hospital. And in her statement, she told detectives that while traveling down the interstate, she saw a baby walking on the side of the road and called 911. She said that when she got out of her car to check on the child, a white man with orange hair and a bald spot emerged from the trees near I-44... 495. We're not used... 459. God, the dyslexia is strong today. I apologize. I'm used to our highways. I know. I'm like (laughs) 570. Anyway, um, but this guy mumbled that he was there to check on the child. She claimed that the man then picked her up and she screamed as he forced her into a car. The next thing she remembered was being in the trailer of an 18 wheeler. And as we all just saw in that footage, redhead man is nowhere to be seen. Where's the footage of the 18 wheeler Mm -hmm. stopping, pulling her in? None of that's there. So she said she could hear a woman's voice and a baby crying. Carly said she was able to escape the 18-wheeler and started to run, but then she was captured again and this time put into a car. Then she said she was blindfolded but was not tied up because the captors said they didn't want to leave impressions on her wrists. She was then taken into a house where she was forced to undress and she believes that they took pictures of her, but she does not remember having any physical or sexual contact with them or them having that contact with her she stated that the next day when she woke up a woman played with her hair and then fed her cheese crackers but doesn't remember anything else and at some point she was put into a vehicle and somehow managed to escape and just ended up back at home she told detectives that she ran through a lot of woods until she came out near her house and was just able to find her way back home During the interview, detectives noticed that Carly had a small injury to her lip. She claimed her head was hurting and she had a tear in her shirt and had $107 in cash in her right sock. Out of respect for Carly and her family, detectives decided to not press for any additional information during that first interview, but made plans to speak with her in detail after giving her time to rest. And now Hoover police still haven't talked to her as of today when we are recording. Mm -hmm. As far as it's been reported, they said that they've asked to interview Carly a second time, but they have not been granted this request. And I've heard that she's in Atlanta. I've heard um, that celebrating her birthday. However, I don't think we've been able to confirm that that's true because there is a lot floating around. So that's, you know, unconfirmed. I also heard that they their family has been being harassed. So they went there for safety. Mm. Who knows? Tuesday, July 18th, Carly's mom uh, released the following statement. On behalf of Carly Russell and her family, we first want to sincerely acknowledge and thank everyone for your prayers, reward contributions through Crime Stoppers, and all of the numerous acts of kindness that were shown to us. We asked God to perform, and he did. We understand and appreciate the sincere concern. However, we would like the public to understand a few things. First and foremost, Carly's physical and mental well-being is our immediate concern. This has been a traumatic experience for Carly and secondly, our family. This was around the time that I first tweeted about it and said that, you know, I can't imagine how traumatizing this yeah. is. Like, And there were people that were starting to question her story then, but I just thought there's so much we don't know at this point. I know there was some like inconsistencies people were already pointing out, but I just thought there's got to be an explanation for this. Um, secondly, this is an outstanding investigation and we fully cooperated with authorities from the onset and will continue to do so. On Wednesday, July 19th, Hoover police officials held a news conference to provide an update on Carly's disappearance. And they had put out a statement the night before as well that really got people starting to think because they pointed out several things that weren't making sense to them. And this news conference was pretty mind-blowing, guys. So the police go ahead and start the news conference. And they start off by stressing that the police work on the case was not finished and still in process. So obviously, there's still things to be 
discovered, I guess. Mm -hmm. His direct quote was, keep in mind, this is still an ongoing investigation and there may be questions we cannot answer. Then the police chief said, due to the public fear this case has generated, we owe it to the public to share what we have learned. So this is kind of what they brought to the table. They say on July 13th at approximately 8.20 p.m., Carly left from Woodhouse Spa in the Summit at a shopping center, which is a shopping center in Birmingham. This is where she works. Mm -hmm. She works at the spa. And there's surveillance video from this business, and it shows that Carly stole a dark bathrobe, a roll of toilet paper, and other items belonging to the business prior to leaving. So after she leaves, she goes and uh, to Tzatziki's where she ordered food. And then she goes to Target to grab granola bars and Cheez-Its. So then the officials play the entire 911 call made by Carly. Let's go ahead and listen to that. Mm -hmm. 911, where's your emergency? Hi, I am on Interstate 459, and there is a kid just walking by themselves. Oh, like, hold on, like, hold on. Where, where on 459 are you? Um... Um, I'm right next to the exit, exit 10 by the Hoover Met, like to get off by the Hoover Met. Okay, so you're before that exit? Yes. Okay, and were you, you headed southbound or northbound? Um, like toward Tuscaloosa not, or toward 280? Toward Tuscaloosa. Okay, and was the child on the left or right side? On the right side. Were they walking not northbound or southbound? southbound? Um, they're walking towards Tuscaloosa. Walking southbound, or how old do they look? Um, like a toddler, like maybe like three or four. Did you pull over with them? Are you still with them? Yes. Okay, you're. Are you with the child right now? No, I'm not. I didn't get out of the car. I'm just. I, I can see them though. Can you? Do you mind staying and keeping an eye on them until we get there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What kind of car are you in? I'm in a red Mercedes Benz. Is that a sedan or SUV? SUV. I mean, it's a, a a sedan. Sorry. Can you put your hazards on for me? Yeah, they're on. Okay. Did you talk to the child at all, or did you say anything to no. them? No. Okay. No. Do they look like they're injured? No, they don't. Are they white, black, Hispanic, or Asian? They're white. Okay. Is a male or female? I think it's a boy, a little boy. White male? Okay. Is he wearing clothes? Yes. Okay. What is he wearing? Um, it's a white t shirt and it doesn't look like he has any pants on. It looks like a diaper. And you don't see any cars anywhere? No, no cars are anywhere. Okay. All right. What's your name? My name is Carly Russell. And you don't see any injuries on the child from where you're at, correct? No, no, but I can't really see them that good. Okay, try to keep an eye on them for the best we can because I don't want you to lose track of them. Um, okay. All right, and do they have shoes on? No. I see. Not that I can see. I can't really see that well. Okay. All right. I've got them on the way, okay? Just try to stay, keep an eye on them, but officers are on the way, okay? Okay, thanks. What do you Thank think you. about that call? Okay, bye. I mean, if I was a dispatcher, I would believe it. Yeah. Nothing, like, stood out to me. No. Anyway, after police saw their surveillance footage of Carly leaving work and her trip to Target, they confirmed that the items from her workplace and Target trip were not in the car when they first arrived at the scene, nor were they located anywhere around the area. The chief reiterated that Carly's call was n was the only report of a child on the side of the road. And you saw how many cars yeah. went by, and that, I think, was their... First red flag. Detectives continued to analyze the data from Carly's phone that was left behind at the scene. And data on Carly's cell phone, including her Life360 app, showed that she traveled 600 yards in her vehicle while she was on the phone with 911, stating that she was following a child. Now, think about it. 600 yards. The chief said that's six football fields straight for that a this toddler. child went. Just walking. Yep. Toddler. The road. Three or four, according to her. The chief said to think that a toddler barefoot could be three or four years old and could travel six football fields without getting in the roadway, without crying, is very hard for me to understand. With the help of the Secret Service, they found more details on her phone, including her search history in the days and hours leading up to her disappearance. Now, get a load of this. This is wild. July 11th, 7.30 a.m., the term 
you have to pay for an Amber Alert was searched. July 13th, 103 a.m. The term how to take money from a register without being caught was searched. On July 13th, 2.13 a.m., the term Birmingham bus station was searched. On July 13th, uh, 2.35 a.m., the term one-way bus ticket from Birmingham Birmingham to Nashville with a departure date of of July 13th was searched. Then July 13th, 12.10 p.m., a search was made for the movie Taken, Mm. which if you don't know, this movie is about an abduction of a man's daughter. Have you seen that movie? Yeah, I have a long time ago. It's a mm-hmm. really good movie. It's fucking kind That's of the one with uh, Liam Neeson, right? Yeah. 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 I've seen it. a that. really good movie. I saw that so long ago. I barely Same. remember it. Good movie, but good movie. interesting search for her. Very interesting search. So the chief added that an additional search from a computer at her work searched the maximum age of an Amber Alert. It's so amazing to me that people will do this type of, will uh, search these things like in, in other cases that we cover or have, you know, they'll text about their crimes. You know, it's very odd. They don't understand in this fucking day and age everything you search every, can be looked at. Yes. every single thing and there's cameras everywhere. everywhere like anyway surveillance footage from carly's neighborhood showed carly walking down the sidewalk alone before arriving at her home she was conscious and talking when first responders first arrived and was later treated and released from the hospital so after news came out at the press conference the owner of woodhouse spa in birmingham told new york post on friday july 21st that carly has been fired from the spa due to stealing items from the business and the owner, Stort Rome, said that it was really devastating for them thinking a coworker was abducted. The following day, Saturday, was the busiest day of the week, and they had to plug alone and work. Plug and along. Plug along. <laughs> plug along. <laughs> wow. And work. And in the off times, um, pass out flyers and other things. He noted that many of Carly's former colleagues were pissed off by the whole ordeal and all the negative attention that the business has received. They have gotten, it's really fucked up. People have been giving this spa bad reviews. They have a huge amount of negative, you know, social media posts and bad reviews, blaming management um, for employing Carly, Mm -hmm. which is just insane that now they're suffering. And he's just, he said, he's just trying to keep the doors open. Stort said that his workers spent an entire day deleting hateful comments and closing down the comment sections of the company's Facebook and Instagram pages. Um, so as you can imagine, once all of this information has come out, people have been pissed and yeah. rightfully so. Um, I know tons of people I've you know worked with over the years have we've just been texting about it behind the scenes and people are just like cannot believe this, um, especially with all the attention that this case got. Right. Yeah. Another thing that's really crazy I was reading about this took a little bit of digging to find. Um but there's been a lot of talk about the whole wig situation, how it was found in the car, because there's been several hairstylists that have uh, come out and they claim to be like wig experts um, in Carly's hometown. Actually, all of them who are black said that the wig immediately made them suspicious that something was off even before Carly came back home because um, they said that the wig appeared to be very high quality and expensive and a custom fitted. It was custom fit and takes 10 to 15 minutes just to remove because you actually glue it on your scalp in parts. And so to take it off, it's kind of a whole mm-hmm. ordeal to take it off. And so they said that it would be super fucking weird for her to a not go to work with the wig on um, or b to take off the wig in her car. They even said it would be as weird as t- like if you were to take off your yeah. underwear in a car. Yeah. So immediately people were like uh that's not mm-hmm. aligning mm-hmm. um so one of many though. things that people started figuring out early yeah. on now carly's boyfriend who we think is now her ex-boyfriend yeah i would think so i can't look in that way yeah it's looking at his name is tamar simmons mm-hmm. and at first he went on social media to defend carly he said quote she was literally fighting for her life for 48 hours so until she's physically and mentally stable again she is not able to give any update or whereabout on her kidnapper at this very moment i've been going non-stop since i've received that call that she was missing on thursday night i know she would have done the same for me so i wasn't going to give up until i saw her face again i just want to thank all my family and friends former teammates and church members who called or texted me just to let me know that they were praying and here for me you guys don't know how much it meant to them so at first he was really coming to her defense and even mm-hmm. when she was missing he was posting like please help my mm-hmm. girlfriend's missing this is where she was last seen oh yeah i feel really bad for him me too of course there we don't know everything at this point there have been a lot of people accusing him and her, her parents yeah. of knowing about this or being involved in it and i mean at this point i 
I believe that they didn't. Um, yeah, I'm I not going to assume did. that they did. Mm -hmm. That would be really fucked up. But I, I don't. I genuinely don't think he had any idea. And people have been so brutal to him. Yeah, online. they have. And imagine going through something like this. Oh, so, yeah. That's it's so sad. And keep in mind, guys, too, when commenting, there have been there's especially on TikTok. There's a lot coming out about how she did this to like get him back like to, right they were breaking they were up and there is nothing to confirm any no. of this um unless people are just i don't know where they're getting right this information, that's why i kept being like how are they do they know something that we yeah. don't please be cautious when commenting and make sure that anything you do say is confirmed because the amount of misinformation is fucking wild on this one but what's interesting is right after he posts all those things he ended up deleting right no right after the oh, press conference sorry, yeah right after the press conference yeah. after all that he shit probably comes heard out all, he, dude can you imagine his jaw must have been on the fucking oh, floor. Yeah. I'd be enraged. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unreal. So he deletes everything. And now I went on his Instagram yesterday. Nothing. No pictures of her. Yeah. Nothing. Not only did he delete the post about her yeah. being missing, but Deleted he did every her. trace of her on his social media. Yep. And she and he has like, I think it's 60,000 followers now. And if you look through his followers list, it's like a ton of women. Dude's good looking. Yeah, he is actually. I only glanced at it for a few minutes, but. I don't know. He did the old delete ski. So yeah, now I'm like, did. did they break up? I read somewhere that assuming. he has a restraining order. Couldn't yeah, find that that's anywhere. That's not confirmed. Could not find that anywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you would like confirm that. And uh, there's no way that he, there's, that's not true. He, like, how, he, why, he would need reason for a restraining order of like right. her doing. And that wouldn't happen that quickly. No, no. that's not true. There's no way. But now what's kind of interesting is on July 22nd, this is one week after Carly arrives home, Maya Simmons, who is, um, Tamar's sister went on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Now, clearly this is just her view that we're sharing here, but she says, man, here y'all go. Since y'all literally waiting on me to speak out on the situation and get my thoughts on it, I just can't believe she fabricated this whole story. Carly had my family and I believing her staged play. She and Tamar and I defending her to the utmost, having me cussed all these people out, which I don't regret. You all should speak on things. You shouldn't, shouldn't. speak on things you don't know about. She says, my emotions are high. I really could turn my emotions into actions. I mean, I could really headbutt her, LOL. No, seriously, do everything under the sun for what she have done. Especially my brother, but I won't do that. I'm letting God work. Um, I don't know what he's going to do with her and her family, but I know he's turning it around in a positive light for mine. And it's interesting she said her family. I wonder if there's things that she knows. Right. Yeah, no, that is actually interesting. She says this whole situation is stupid as hell, but at the end of the day, she's the one embarrassed. Everyone is literally on her neck for lying the way she did. They both righteous nationwide right now. Not really sure. Oh, I guess yeah. they're all getting tons of attention, she means. Mm -hmm. uh, I just really pray for her and her family to just tell the truth about everything and pray for Carly's mind yes. because God gun deal with them. Yeah, it's interesting she's saying her family and them. Like, I don't know. I don't know. She also says, just like everyone that personally knows Carly and everyone who genuinely cared about her well-being from the jump, we really thought she was missing like everyone else in my timeline. We were clueless as well, but my heart goes out to my brother. I don't like to see my family go through anything. They don't have to go through, but he going to be good and we're good regardless. I'm proud of him. He did his part being a real man and going out searching hard for his girlfriend like any concerned boyfriend would do. But like I said, God is turning the situation around for our good. God is the only one allowed this to play out the way it did. I just want to thank everyone who reached out to me and us and concerned about my brother. He's going to be okay. Way, way better, better than, than he was, he was before. before. She fumbled. So fumbled. that makes you think that she broke up with him or that they broke up. I should say. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so following her Facebook post claiming that she and her family had no clue of Carly's fabricated story, a New York Post article was published. And in the article, her brother urged the public to stop bullying Carly. The only thing I can say is I want everyone to stop bullying her. I know it seems like what she did, just stop bu bullying on social media. Think about her mental health. She doesn't deserve that. That's big of him to say. Mm -hmm. She doesn't. No one deserves to be cyber bullied, um, which I agree. People have gone too far with that. But I, I understand people's anger. I think it just needs to be, you know, we need to just let law enforcement they'll, they'll take care of her yeah. she will likely face charges for this and fines and who who knows but yeah supposedly <sighs> she's in atlanta yep mm -hmm. while the hoover police are working around the clock trying to solve this alleged kidnapping 
So trial attorney Eric Guster is local to the Birmingham area and not involved in the case, but he did talk to a local TV station and made a statement that we thought was interesting. He said, it's going to be much more difficult for African-American women to be believed and it may actually decrease the number of actual reports of things because people are already afraid they won't be believed. That is such a good point. Yes. And I, I'm really concerned that it's going to create, which I think this was Sherry Papini too and Chloe Stein, um, that it will create this sense of people in the public judging missing persons right off the bat. Um, oh, like judging what, yeah. well, what were, what were mm -hmm. they doing? What were they doing before? Yep. What was their life like? Mm -hmm. were their friends? Yep. Start questioning their story before yeah. things That's are even point. known. It's it's really damaging. He said, black families say they have a difficult time getting police to take their cases of their loved ones seriously as it is. Most of the time, police label them as a runaway, which is very true. Um, and that was what was so disappointing to me about this case in particular is to see her getting all this coverage yeah. and to think like, oh, that's so good. And we know right. we don't normally see that. And then it turns out to be this. It's right. just like, fuck. Right. So according to 2021 FBI data, black people make up 31% of missing persons report reports, but only 14% of the US, U.S. population. So just staggering difference there. Um, white people, meanwhile, take up 54% of missing persons reports and 76% of the U.S. population. So doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, David Robinson, who has come on our show, we mm -hmm. actually had him out. Such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. We had a great like day him. with him. Um, we did an episode on his son, Daniel, and that was in 2022 when we recorded that. Well, yeah, I guess it was last year. Yep. Yeah, his yep. son has been missing since June of 21 mm -hmm. from Buckeye, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Heartbreaking case, and he's gotten very little support and help and he is out there literally leading this search on his own it's his apps it's his life mission yeah um anyway he said that it was very hard to hear that police couldn't find evidence to support carly's story david said that he and other families endure a lot of pain mm -hmm. watching months and years go by with no sign of their loved ones um he worries that carly's case will make it even harder for black families to get fair attention david told cnn it damages the pro problems that we already have with law enforcement taking our stories serious as far as we know the investigation is still ongoing and the police are unable to verify carly's claims there probably will be a lot more information coming out and a lot of it i mean they're going to need carly to answer and she will have to eventually answer for this um incredibly disappointing i've seen a lot of people frustrated that so if you didn't know chloe stein also faked her kidnapping yeah. earlier this year um, I did a full video on it and there's been a lot of talk of why did why did Chloe not get the same attention that Carly did uh, like almost as if Car uh, Chloe like got off the hook sure. which she didn't she's facing charges and everything um, but I think that's also because Chloe's story did not go viral no. when she was reported missing yeah. the way that Carly's was this I mean went this went viral. so so viral mm -hmm. very similar to Sherry Papini's which she got a lot of attention when she was missing and then a lot of attention when it yeah. found out that it was all this fucked up elaborate hoax. I think the huge, because the part of me, I was thinking like, why is it that some people's cases when they go missing, go viral, run off the bat and some do not. And I think a large part of why this did was because of the fact that that quote unquote baby was mm -hmm. involved and yep. what a weird thing you get. The, yep. The, the police get a call from this woman who's driving down the highway, this baby's on the side of the road, mm -hmm. walking around and she gets in her car, you know, or, gets in a car, mm -hmm. escapes, gets in another car. You know, it's mm -hmm. just so many like levels to this. That's so shocking. Yep. And I'm not captivated the public saying fully what happened one way or another, but it is interesting that if this is ending up being fake, like she really thought all those details through. Again, yeah. I don't know for sure, but make your own conclusions. But yeah, I don't know. Really weird. There's a lot of evidence against her at this point. And I think it's it says a lot that, you know, Maya came out and um s said what she said. Yeah. Her statement said a lot. So crazy. Yeah. yeah. We want to hear your thoughts. Um, if more information comes out, we will continue to touch on this. But um, you know, I, I do hope that Carly gets the help she needs. She clearly needs some help. And um I hope she will be held accountable for this because, you know, the amount of uh, resources used, people's time wasted, volunteers, it's incredibly frustrating. Mm -hmm. 
Like I said, over 90,000 people are missing in this country and most of them don't get a fraction of this type of coverage and to see it wasted is um, incredibly so angering. Upset. I just, I would be so furious. Like if I had my kid who was out there missing or my loved mm -hmm, one mm -hmm. and she's getting all this attention then I find out that it's for nothing. And imagine how you would feel being someone who actually got out there in the community Ugh. was, you know, taking an active role in this, trying, wasting your time um, all for this. I mean, it's it's maddening. Um, I think anyone who's a taxpayer has the right to feel angry and want answers. Yeah. And, you know, she she will have to face yeah. consequences and, and answer these questions. Um, just we just got to give investigators time to pull all this together. But oh. the story is not over. Nope. Anyway, we want to hear your thoughts. Breaking news. All right, we're back with breaking news, folks. Again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're always breaking. Well, we all know now for sure this was a hoax. Big hoax. Mm -hmm. Truth comes out. Yep. The Hoover police and Carly had agreed to a second interview on Monday, July 24th, but instead the police department received a statement from her attorney, that said there was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 30, 13th. And Carly did not see a baby on the side of the road. Yep. Which we all knew, but now we have confirmation it was mm. all fake. Yep. The statement said Carly did not have any help from anyone during the time she was gone and she never left the Hoover area. They also added that she never stayed at a hotel like some online rumors have suggested. Carly's statement concluded with, my client apologizes for her actions to this community, the volunteers who are searching for her, to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, and to her friends and family. We ask for prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Yeah, you could say it was a mistake. Uh, yeah, little mistake. Oops. Mm. Yeah. There has been no indication of a motive for her staging her disappearance yet or any information on where she was for this 49 hour period. Yeah, I so, wonder what she was doing the whole time. Yeah, it has been like pretty widely accepted that she was in a hotel. And so it's good that they clarify that she wasn't. Yeah. But where was she? I know. I really want to know. I mean, we're going to get those answers as time goes on, I'm sure. I'm very curious mm -hmm. as to where she actually was and Me if she was with too. someone else and if someone else knows about this or if she just yeah. did this on her own. A lot of people are speculating that she must have had help, but I mean, you could totally do this by yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Especially when you don't do it well. So anyway, on Tuesday, Carly's attorney met with detectives to discuss his client's case. After the meeting, he said that he is expecting charges to be filed against Carly. And he told local news stations that it could be as soon as today, today when we are recording this, which is Wednesday. So by the time this episode goes up, Carly could have already been charged. Um, and if that is the case, we will pin a little comment and link you or guys you do to a simple Google search. I'm sure it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you will know. Um, but it's not confirmed what charges she will face. And it has been speculated that there are three misdemeanor possibilities, which would be falsely reporting an incident, falsely reporting to a law enforcement authority and rendering a false alarm. Those charges each carry a sentence up to one year in jail. So we'll see how this all shakes out. So after all this news is released, Carly's now confirmed ex. Remember, we were saying we couldn't figure out if they were still dating or not. It's been confirmed. They are not dating anymore. Anyways, he went on Instagram and said, Carly's actions created hurt, confusion, and dishonesty. I was made aware of the false narrative. After coming to the defense of my ex, Carly Russell, myself and my family's nature was to react in love and genuine concern. We are disgusted from the outcome of this entire situation. I strongly feel exactly like you all, blindsided with Carly's actions. This is still an ongoing investigation, but with all of the recent information and her confession, now we gain closure with this situation. Thank you to all my family, friends, and the nation for support through this. I want to also send my prayers and thanks to Miss Angela Haley Harris, her team, and all of the volunteers. Thank you again for your unwavering support. The severity in this matter has not been overlooked, and I deeply respect the genuine support shared during this situation. Please continue to keep us in your prayers. I hope that stops all the hate towards him and the rumors that he was in on it and knew about this. Totally. I feel so bad for the guy. I do too. Yeah, I don't think he knew about this no. at all. No. No. Because I think that if he did, she would have thrown him under the bus. Probably. And been like, oh, well, oh, he was in sure. on it too. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Poor dude. Can you imagine thinking your girlfriend's missing and so everything? Scary. Oh, I'd be so mad. I'd be pissed, man. For years, he's he's gonna need. Hopefully, he gets some therapy or something because that's really like bad. so traumatic to go through. Poor guy. I know. So yeah, that's it though. Yeah, that's, that's all we the got. update. So yeah, we'll keep Why an eye out for the charges. Lying, They're coming. Always fucking lying. <sighs> Another one. Just when you think maybe people are gonna learn from other people doing this. And there will always again. be people who do it. People need know. attention. Good attention is bad attention is still attention at the end of the day. And people want attention. <laughs> it's insane to me. I can't even wrap my mind around what would make you ever think to do this. I would just, you know, aside from the fact of that it's a huge waste of resources and time, mm-hmm. it's also just so mean to your poor family. Yeah, especially your family. Right. Yeah. Imagine where their minds go thinking about what happened to your ass. Right. Terrible. So scary. So fucked up. Ugh. Terrible. Really pisses me off. Anyways, that's you want to hear your thoughts? So sound off. Let us know. Bye. And we're gonna take a quick break and wait for Sarah to come. Yay! We're super excited. Got to have Honey, some fun. This has been an intense uh, intro here. I know. Sometimes that's just how it goes. Really here on switching the switching gears. Yeah. Last Wait, week was like that we're too. A variety I'm sure. show. Current events. All the news. All know? the news. Sometimes it's not always good news or funny news. It's, it's serious shit. True. Yeah. Got to talk about it sometimes. But now we got to have some fun. Yay! I'm excited. So we'll see you in a sec. Guys, airport anxiety is a real thing. Every time I'm at the airport, I get anxious. I'm constantly checking my pockets for my ID or I'm forgetting my gate number. So I'm constantly looking at my boarding pass. I really do feel like I'm running around with my head cut off when I'm at the airport. But luckily, one thing I don't have to worry about is making sure that I have really good luggage. And with BASE, they really do hook you up with the best travel gear possible so that it makes traveling a little less stressful. BASE was created by actress Shay Mitchell to make sleek and affordable bags, luggage, and accessories designed to help you travel effortlessly while still looking fashionable. And BASE has thought of everything you could ever want in a piece of luggage. They have 360 degree gliding wheels, a cushioned handle, built-in weight indicator, washable bags for your dirty clothes, and all the interior pockets you need to keep organized. Their luggage comes in multiple sizes and colors, and for shorter trips, the Weekender bag is super functional and even has a place to store your shoes separately. That is huge for me. What a genius idea. I hate putting shoes that are already dirty in with all my other clothes, so the fact that you can separate the two is brilliant. I love this Weekender bag. I use it all the time. So whether you're packing for a quick trip or looking to breeze through the security line, BASE has your personal items covered. And right now, BASE is offering our listeners 15% off your first purchase by visiting basetravel.com slash sesh. Go to basetravel.com slash sesh for 15% off your first purchase. That's B-E-I-S travel.com slash sesh. All right. And we are back with Sarah Gray from TikTok, otherwise known as Sue Dillon. Sue Dillon. Hi, honey. Yes. <laughs> so, hi, honey. Hi, honey. Yeah. Can you teach us how to do yeah. it? Can we start with that? Okay. So I always say I have a calloused throat um, because it is kind of rough <laughs> on the throat, it but hurt. I do it so much. I don't, it doesn't bother me now, but it might irritate a little bit. Try to keep it up here, though. Don't bring it down here. Okay. okay. That makes sense. You know how you can like move it? Yeah. I see what you mean, honey. <laughs> yeah. That helps a lot, honey. <laughs> see, I just run out of breath. I, run out like, of I don't breath. know how you keep going. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. I swam competitively in high school, like most of my life, honestly, from like nine to senior year in high school. And so I think that's why my lungs are built for it. Mm. You got to be like, you know, you've, you've been, been training some, for this. See, I swam too, but I Same. smoked a lot of weed over the years. <laughs> probably ruined my lungs. But. <laughs> you sound like you smoked a lot of weed. Well, Sue does. <laughs> she yeah. probably does. Yeah. Well, oh, she's a God. chain smoker. She's a cigarette chain smoker. Sue yeah. mm. How did you? Iconic. So how did you first come up with this character? Well, Tell the was, people. It was all an accident. I was calling my husband's dad and he was asking me. It was the one where... I like told him he won a lifetime supply of Marlboro Reds, which is what he smokes. <laughs> Amazing. And he like opened up to me and like asked if I knew his deceased mother. And oh. um, yeah, I got really deep, but he was like, what's your name? And I was like, crap, I have to make up a name. And I just said Sue Dillon. And then it just stuck. That's such Sue a good Dillon name. Sue Dillon was born. Yep. Well, God, where can so. people find you to keep up with Sue Dillon? Um, you can find me on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. And it's all Sarasota5 at Sarasota5. 
Okay, we'll have it all linked below too yeah. so you guys can find it. Definitely give her a follow. She's amazing. And she does live streams too, which I was tuning into some of them this weekend. They were so funny. Yep. Oh, um, thank you. But so you can request a call for her on your on her TikTok. So if you have someone in your life and some of you guys have already submitted people to call today and gave us kind of background on them. So that's going to be hilarious. But we're going to start by... Um, trying to call some of the people in our lives mm -hmm. we're kind of doubtful they're going to answer very doubtful so i don't want to put you guys through listening to us do failed calls so we'll just cut them out and if you'll just see the successful. ones that will actually work yeah let's start with my daddy i brought the wig oh yes, yes! <laughs> oh, yes. We, were we were wondering i thought maybe you didn't bring it i have to get into character yes. okay all right yes is there like a process we need to do like do you do like a meditation to <laughs> Assume that that too. <laughs> I haven't Assume started meditation. that, but maybe that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, just like fully get, like maybe I should smoke a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Dude, we need to get a selfie with Sue. We need to sue oh, yeah. selfie. We need to sue selfie. selfie for sure. Oh my god. Oh, I'm like, I'm so starstruck right now. Like I'm I'm in the <laughs> presence of the comb. <laughs> this is my husband's comb, actually. <laughs> and it gets gray hairs all in it all the time. <laughs> that's amazing. That's a legit wig. That okay. is. Is that an Amazon find? Oh, yeah. Amazon's number one pick for a mullet wig right here. Yeah, oh, baby. Just... That is a good one. Thank you. Wait, mm -hmm. okay. And your uh, TikToks, though, you wear like your Sue Dillon merch, but then you have, you make your boobs look like way really saggy. Is that? I have some prosthetic Okay, boobs. I was wondering how that works. <laughs> I had I to kind of quit too. that because they were like, like dimming my st my views down because of them because they don't like what? any nipple showing. Oh darn! Or oh. anything. Damn, TikTok is strict. Mm -hmm. Very mm. strict. Okay. Well, we're excited. Let's go ahead and start. Dang! Oh. Come Damn on, it. Daddy has his phone off. Hello. Hi. Uh, this is Sue. I'm trying to reach Stacy. This is Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Um. I'm working with Jane Ozga. Uh, she's running, and uh, we're wanting to know if we can get your vote for her. For who's that, did you say? Jane Ozga. Oh, you know what? I don't, I don't know enough about... Um, well, uh, she's for the Democratic Party, honey. Are you a Democrat? I'm independent. That's fair. Yeah, I get it, but... Uh, I wanted to let you know you should be informed, okay? Because Kate Eckle has been wanted for letting her dog shit in other people's yards. And I don't think we should have someone like that running for office. You know what I'm saying? So, I just hope you you don't vote for someone like that. Because, you know, that's just irresponsible. Yes. Okay, well, thank you. I've got to run now. All right. Remember, Jane Oska, oh, honey. <laughs> y'all are hard not to laugh when y'all are dying. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to make it through this. This is the Holy shit. What did she say after, like, the dog I thing? Think she goes, actually... okay. <laughs> she started laughing. <laughs> she so good. You I think she yeah, believed it? Uh, yeah, I think maybe, so. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> she started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you just hold it so well. I don't know how you do it. I'm over here like literally crying and snorting. <laughs> oh it's hard God. when you know the person, I will say. Yeah, yeah. That oh shit is God. funny, that man. That's good. All right. All Success. Right. One down. Shit in your able <laughs> to so funny. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, oh I can't so wait to good. tell her. Classic so dog good. shit. I'm going to be like, did you hear? I'm going to see her this weekend and be like, yeah. did you hear about Jane Oscar? Oscar? <laughs> and say how, like, with Kate, how people are saying not to vote for her because yeah, of the, the dog, dog shit. shit. You yeah. didn't hear about, do you hear about the, the dog, dog shit? shit? Like, she like, shit. shit. <laughs> If that you get so her funny. like in on it more, let me know and I will continue. This. <gasps> oh, wait, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Oh my god. All right, who's up next? I'm gonna call my dad one more time. If not, we're leaving a mess. Okay. Because he's in big with the All right, we've tried Janelle's dad a few times. He has an answer. We're gonna have her leave a message. What's his name? Mark. Mark. Okay. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. 
Hi, Mark. This is Sue with the delivery system. I got an order for... And uh, nobody is here. I've been knocking on the damn door for 20 minutes, and it says, must be delivered today. And I was like, well, what is this? Is it really important? And it does look pretty important, honey. It's a big old jump house that can fit about 10 people. Uh, I don't know if you want me to just leave it here. There's been cats wandering around here pissing on everything. I don't think you want me to do that. I'll hang out for about five more minutes. And then, uh, I'm gonna go with it. But call me back if you need me to leave it, honey. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was okay to see his face. <laughs> so can he call back at that number? No. I don't actually. Think... He might be able to. Well, I used to do that. And I would get calls that they would come through my phone, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, so if we get a call, I'll answer. Okay. That was just like what we're saying, like your your phone number probably, right? Let's, let's do my mom and leave a voicemail about the United States. Yes, yes. <laughs> Dude, how do you come up with this shit on the spot? It kills me. Trauma. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my God. Okay, we're calling <sighs> Kathleen again. This is the United one. Okay. She's flying in tomorrow from Sarasota. I'm not available at the moment. Please let me know you called. Leave me a message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. This is Sue with United Airlines. I'm trying to get in touch with Kathleen. Uh, looks like you got a dog traveling with you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, from Sarasota to Denver, I see. Yes, I've got the right one. Well, honey, uh, we're actually moving a burial ground from sarasota to denver so we are not allowing any uh checked bags so you're gonna have to lighten your load or bring it on as a carry-on honey i apologize for the inconvenience um you know this is a big big burial ground taking up the whole bottom of the aircraft so um yeah honey have a blessed day God, I love God, you. That was so good. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, I can't wait to see her face. Damn, I really want these fuckers to answer, though. Oh, my God. All right, this is Cindy's dad. Hopefully he answers. Come on, Grant. Let's Grant. Hi, Grant. This is Sue with Park Pickleball Association. Um, How are you doing today? Good, yourself? I'm great. Um, I noticed you left your racket here, and... I thought I'd let you know about a certain situation we got going on up here while I'm on the phone with you, letting you know about your racket. Um, we've got a tournament coming up, but it's uh, a dress-up tournament, so you get to wear a costume. Would you be interested? Oh. I play pickleball myself, honey, and I'm going to dress up as a Virginia Slim model. What do you think you'll wear, honey? What? I don't, you know, I'd have, to, I'd have to think about it. Well, let me know. I think you'd make a real good sexy cowboy. Myself, you know, wear a button down, yeah. but open it up. There you go. I like it. Yeah, you can be my Marlboro man. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you, honey. Don't forget to come pick up your racket. Where's my racket at? Well, right now it's right by me. Right here at Park. Oh, what kind of racket is it? It has a, you know, it has the things on it that make it a racket. Honey, I don't know much about it. Does it have a brand name on it somewhere? No brand name? I don't know. Honey, I, I did not graduate high school. I can't really read it. Huh, what color is it? It's black. Okay, so you're... you're oh, it says right Vanguard. Vanguard? Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be mine. Well, shit. I guess I got the wrong person, but at least I told you about your... Uh, at the tournament. I hope, I hope to see you. It's in a couple of weeks. Come to talk to me about it at the front desk next time you're here, okay? All right, what was your name? Sue. Sue Dillon, honey. Sue, okay. 
Yeah, honey, bye bye. That was that fucking was so amazing. Good. That was so, so cool. new. To God, have. He's gonna like text you or something. Oh my god, that was so funny. That was so funny. Like, what color is it? <laughs> they totally went with it too. I know. Oh, it's amazing. I know. He was like black. Oh, she got it. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Sorry, that I just was pulled good. up the first thing that I saw. So that was, I was like, that I was didn't good. read the right brand. I saw the Vanguard and I was like, oh crap. He's like, not right. mine. No, I don't even know what brand he is. <laughs> wow, he really went with it too. I know. He's like laughing. Uh, <laughs> good sport. So funny. Sport. Your dad's a good sport. That yeah. was so funny. I love that. Okay, who's our next victim? <laughs> that you need water. Yeah. <laughs> I will say it's really going. It's harder to do the voice here because it's like the air is dry. Thinner. Yeah. It's dry too. It's hard a mile higher. I need that humidity. It is. Mm-hmm. For the cords. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> Gotta keep them lubricated. Yeah. Let's try John again. I'm not giving up on his ass. <laughs> I really want him to answer. Your call has been forwarded Damn to it. an automatic voice message system. John not is- available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, honey. I got this uh, number off this frisbee. It says, let's go. John on it has your number on it out here in West Fork. Uh, My dog found it. Actually, this is where I come to smoke and walk my wiener dog and uh, and also my Mexican hairless dog, too. They love to get exercise out here and watch all these men you know these young men playing uh frisbee golf and i just so happened to stumble upon one of your frisbees i believe it's got your number on it john and um uh, i'm sorry to say it's got some teeth marks in it and then my mexican hairless dog proceeded to take a shit on it so i got most of it off but it does have a skid but i put it in a dollar tree bag for you and uh i'm just gonna hang it up in this tree right here so you should be able to find it just fine. But honey, have a blessed day. <laughs> God, oh, why do people want to answer? I know. I mean, oh, yeah. Maybe he won't so listen funny. to it till later. Like, does he always <laughs> listen to his voicemails right away? I'm sure if he knows yeah, it's maybe, not. Maybe he'll call mm-hmm. back. But who leaves a voicemail anyways? Like, I never yeah, get voicemails. I know, right? So I don't even look at mine. Mm-hmm. Come on. Hi, this is I can't get to the phone right now. Just leave a voicemail. Give me your name and number, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, this is Sue uh, with the Del Mar Surfer Association. We're having a surfing, a surfing contest for the people that are 65 and older, and you were the first that came to mind. Uh, so let me know if you're interested in coming out here, honey. I'll write your name down. And uh, I also wanted to know, you know, I see you out here a lot if you're single. Because if you are, I'd love to take you out somewhere for a nice steak dinner, honey. It's on Sue. But uh, call me back when you can, honey. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was steak good. dinner. Guys, I cannot believe it. Next week, my daughter is turning one. It is unbelievable. And as she gets older, she is getting harder and harder to keep entertained. And she wants to be entertained constantly. As you can imagine, if you have kids, you know. So one major thing that has helped us in our house is KiwiCo. They have supplied us with so many of Holly's favorite toys. And I'm being serious about that. She loves everything that we've gotten from KiwiCo. They for sure are always nearby. And her latest Kiwi Crate has been her favorite. She got this recycling truck toy that comes with a little recycling bin that goes in the back and these little people that drive up front and she loves this thing. She loves pushing it around, putting the little people in their spots, getting the little recycling bin into the back of the truck. It is such a cool toy and I can't believe how much she likes them compared to all of her other toys. She also got this little rainbow a musical thing that you put ball, a ball in the top and then it kind of trickles down and makes sound as it goes. And wow, she is entertained by this thing. And what's great is the items that they send you is spot on for where your child is developmentally. KiwiCo is a must have subscription for your child that encourages brain building play. The Panda Crate was specifically designed for newborns and toddlers to support their rapid development in the first two years of life, and each Panda Crate includes expert-backed activities to help babies at every stage learn by doing what they do best, playing and exploring. 
You'll receive up to six age-appropriate products that support child-led play and encourage up to 10 different skills for your baby, from developing cognitive skills to engaging their senses and practicing fine motor control. Each Panda Crate is made with baby and parents in mind. Their products are made of the highest quality, absolutely can say that. They are non-toxic and each crate has everything you need so you can focus on bonding with your baby and enjoying their milestones. We love KiwiCo in our house. It's truly something that I will use for years to come and I can't wait until she gets a little older and can do some of their other activities and experiments. They just offer such a wide variety of items. It's, it's a really cool service. So foster brain building play with KiwiCo. Right now you can get 50% off your first month plus free shipping at KiwiCo.com, promo code SESH. That's 50% off your first month plus free shipping at KiwiCo. That's spelled like the fruit, K-I-W-I-C-O.com, promo code SESH. KiwiCo.com, promo code SESH. You ready, Carly? Yeah, so I gave you two numbers, either my mom or my cousin. Wait, my dad's calling me. Oh, should I answer? Because is he yeah. calling you? Or? He's gonna be like, "What the fuck is this?" Is he calling you? Is it? Is it calling? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> answer it. Hello. Hi, honey. It's Sue. How can I help you? Yeah, I got a message uh, from somebody about a delivery. Yes. Um. Yes. Which part do you need me to repeat, honey? It's about the this big old package. What's the package? I believe it's a jump house, as I said in the message, honey. I have no idea what uh, what that is or who you who you where you trying to deliver it to. Yeah, to your house, honey. It is this on it. Yeah, I don't know. How, in what city? Okay, um, where I live. I yes. Heard anybody knocking on these door about it? I was beating on that door. Nobody answered because it average? said it says it must have been must be delivered today. What's the address. Okay, you didn't. I've been here all day. There's been no one knocking on the door. I think that you might have done some too much CBD or something, because okay. I've been beating on this door. No, right now. I know I have, honey. What's that? I know I've been beating on your door. No, you haven't, because I've been here all day and there's nobody. I, and was, I have a ring doorbell. I don't know what to say. I think you need to get it checked because it must not be working. No, I think you got the wrong address. I got the right address, honey. I'm reading on the on the package right now, and I was right in front of your house. What does the house look like? Uh, I'm trying. Well, you know, I deliver packages all damn day. I'm not even at your house anymore, but I think it was red brick. Okay, well, like I said, um, it's for a birthday party. Here? I what? think I think it's for a birthday party because it came from Party City. No. I don't know what that would be because um, there's no birthday here. I live here, but I think you have some mix up in the order or something. Because I've been here all day. No one's come to the door. Well, the package is there, honey. I would go ahead and drag it inside because, like I said, the cats are ripe and rampant out here, pissing on everything. Y'all need to get. Where's the uh, It's on the doorstep. No, there's nothing at the doorstep. Sitting here right now. I don't believe you, honey. I think you're pulling my leg. No, I think you're pulling my leg. So I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not pulling no legs here. I'm just a working woman. What's that? I'm just a working woman doing my job. Honey. I know. I'm, I'm I sorry. wonder if There's somebody no stole here. it. I'm standing in front of my house. There's been no package delivered. There's no one come to the door. There's no one knocking at the door. I think somebody might have took it because, you know, they have them doorstep thieves that steal packages and shit. Yeah, well, I mean, I have I have record who comes to the door. What time did you come by? What, whenever time I called you, honey, I don't keep an agenda for stuff like that. Yeah. It's been longer than ten minutes, surely to God. It's Damn, been the been day is going by as slow as a snail. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a long ass day, honey. Okay, well, bottom line is I don't know what you're talking about. No package here. I but think someone. I think someone stole it, honey. I don't know what to say. I've been beating on your damn red brick yeah. door. Oh uh, well. Like so, you said, there's no, there's nobody that's come by. I have a doorbell records everything. So. Okay, well, good yeah, for you, honey. And I've been here all day. And there's no one, no one, no one's rang the doorbell. No one's knocked on the door. I don't know. I, I think you might be a little confused, but that's okay. 
No, I think you confused. I think you went to the wrong address. How old are you, honey? Sometimes we lose a little bit of our mind when we get a little bit older. No, no, I'm not that old. I'm 50 years old. I'm fine. You still got some time. I work all day and I work all day at home. So I've been here all day. So I'm not sure what you're trying to do, what you have or whatever. But there's been no one has come by. So I think you just got to mix up there. I definitely don't mix mix things up like this. I'm a seasoned mail deliverer, but I appreciate it. Okay, well, hope you can find out where you're, what you're trying to deliver because it's not here. Okay, honey. Have a blessed day. <laughs> He's argumentative. <laughs> he lied. He totally lied. He's not 50s. In his 60s. <laughs> he was not happy about no, that. I know. He so, it's like, I keep a record of everything. He's <laughs> like, I work here. I have a ring doorbell. Oh, so good. Oh, fuck, that was good. Oh, I can't wait to hear him tell you about it. Mm-hmm. You're like, boops, you'll never guess. Boops. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to tell Roberta about uh, it. And they're, they're, she's going to be like, oh, I got a weird call too on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. probably so flustered over this. Oh, too. yeah. He's, he's probably driving me all crazy. day. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Wait, I, I guess I'm going to like disclose to them that you guys are pranking them. Maybe one day. No, one day. I never do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the people I, like that request it do, but I don't know. Oh, my it's God. It's not my problem. That is no, so, yeah, so true. good. Or that yeah. is some good shit. What about your mom? Hell, yeah. This is funny. Yeah, let's do your mom. I don't think she'll... Fall for it? Uh, no, I think she'll just hang up on them. Let's try. We can try. Let's just try your mom. Okay, what should we do? We could say it's someone from uh, Southwest because we have some... We saw you were looking for flights to Denver. We have some flights. We have some deals. Up, but like, they're... Yeah, they're low... They're deal... Bargain deals because of the circumstances or something. Okay. All right, this is Janelle's mom, Ginger. Come on, Gingy. Let's go, baby. Hello? Hi, is this Ginger? Yes, it is. This is Sue. Um, I was wondering if you were looking for flights from Denver to Phoenix. I'm with uh, the United Airlines, and we have some really good deals on tickets coming up. Um, we got a... From Denver to Phoenix is where we're going. Oh, I mean, sorry. Phoenix to Denver, it's past my lunchtime. I've been working like a hog today. What what airline is it? Um, Southwest. Well, that's pretty much always my go to airline. So I'll just when I when I want to go to Denver, I'll always look on that website first. Yeah, well, this ain't listed on the website. This is a special deal just for you because we know that you like to book with us quite often. We see it in our system, and uh, we got a thing coming up with the nudist colony. They ain't taking up the whole plane, so. We're offering tickets for twenty dollars a piece to fill it up because she. Hung- <laughs> she hung- <laughs> I knew she was. She, uh, was Do you think it scared her? Do you think she? Knew? No, I think she was like, "Oh, I don't have time." And I have a feeling she's gonna text me and be like, "Are you fucking with me?" Probably. Like she knows yeah. me too well. Yeah. Damn, oh, it. that was funny, that was though. good. Good that try, good, good try. All right, at least we made it through. <laughs> okay, Curly, do you have someone? Yeah, we can do either my mom, who her dog just had puppies. Um, okay. Or we can do my cousin who Let's just both. opened up a doula business. Oh, oh the doula one would be fine. Yeah. Let's do both. Yeah. yeah, it's Mitzi, right? Mitzi, yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi, you picked up quick, honey. Is this Mitzi? Hi. <laughs> yes, this is Mitzi. Hi. Um, I'm looking for a doula. Okay. Yeah, I've got, well, I've got triplets in my tummy, and they're about to pop out any day, but probably next month is what we're thinking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay, uh, congratulations. Thank you, honey. I've been trying my whole life, and God blessed me with three all at once. Wow. Now, where do you live? Well, I live, I'm an L.A. transplant, honey. Okay. Uh, so, so are you? Where are you located? Well, I'm in LA. So you're in LA. Yeah, I'm an LA transplant. You ever heard that term? That's what they call me here. Oh no. Chatsworth. I was. You're in Chatsworth. Yes. Okay. And can I ask how did you um get referred to me, or where did you? Get my information from. I saw it on um on Instagram. 
Oh, okay, great. My daughter um, Crystal showed it to me, actually. But she's not my actual daughter. She's just, you know, one that I've claimed as my own. Oh, oh, I see. It's complicated. Okay. But these I'm sorry, are my. I didn't hear you. It's complicated, you know. But, uh. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but my, you know. Well, I, I was just asking because I see you have a 719 area code for Colorado. Yeah, don't listen to that, honey. I just got, you know, I moved around a lot. I'm a drifter. And this is the last place I lived. And I haven't changed my phone number to L.A. Okay. I, I have family in Colorado, so that's why I wasn't sure when. Oh, it's a small world, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so tell me a little bit about um, your your situation. So, so how many weeks? I have until next month. I'm thirty two weeks pregnant. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. I've cut down on my smoking to one pack a day. I was a three pack a day at the beginning. So I'm hoping they don't come out with like three legs or something because I'm concerned about that. But I've been a chain smoker since I was a little girl. So I've done what I can. I think it hurt them more if I quit cold turkey, honestly. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And how have you been? What is your name? My name is Sue. Sue. Okay. Nice to meet you, Sue. Um, so tell me a little bit about what you're hoping to get out of um, this conversation, this phone call? Are you, would you like some inspiration? What, and, and also, where are you delivering? I'm going to deliver. I have, um, it's going to be pretty warm here, so I got one of them blow-up pools from Walmart that I'm hoping to deliver it in. And what I want to get out of this conversation are these three children, you know? I want them out of my vagina. So you're planning on doing a home birth? Yeah, because I, I live real close to Chatsworth Hospital. Uh, the Cross Medical Center, I live real close to there. So if something goes wrong, you can just wheel me over there, probably. Okay. Okay. And so, now here's the thing. Um, I, I'm, right now, unfortunately, this is, I'm, I'm pretty booked up, uh, but I'm hot. Damn it. To help I just really wanted someone to help me with this because I don't know what I'm doing. Like, okay, no, no problem, Sue. Listen, no problem, Sue. Listen, I'm not going to just leave you hanging. <laughs> That's not, you know, I'm here to help. I'm not here to, you know, I'm here to help out in any way I can, shape or form. So I am definitely going to help you out. Thank you, if honey. I can't do this, yeah, if I can't do this, I, I have to. I have a tribe. Oh, that's I mean, amazing. Of, Can, yeah, I have a tribe of support system, you know, um, and that's this is what we do. We help each other out. Well, you know what, honey? That's so sweet, Mitzi. I have a serious question, though, since we're, you know, on the phone. I know you may not be able to help me, but it's okay. But I just wanted to ask a quick question. Um, The mucus plug. I've heard it's good to eat them. Is that is that mucus true? Plug? The mucus plug uh, that you can eat it. Yes. Um. So this is something I've never heard about, but I do know about the placenta. I've heard that too. Uh, Spanky yeah. bought a cast iron skillet just to fry it up. Yeah, so I've heard about the placenta, and I actually, I did it myself with my own experience. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't eat it. I got it encapsulated, so I took it as pills. Okay. And there's a lot of benefits for this. Um, but not I the mucus plug. <laughs> not the mucus plug. No, 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 no. Um, I don't, where did you read this from, Sue? I read it on the internet. It was on Reddit. No. Yeah, they said that, that it cured their allergies. Maybe it's a new thing in science. Maybe you should, you know, read up on it. I don't know. I've not really read up on it, really, besides read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to um, 
do some research on that because, honestly, thank you for bringing that up. I will do some research on that. Um, so let me ask you, um, what, so you're planning on delivering at home? Yes, like I said, I got a pool from Walmart. You know, they have them blow-up kiddie pools, and it's perfect. So, okay, so, but, um, no, so, who are you planning to have them besides, you know, having a doula or having, I mean, what other support <laughs> system do you have? You, honey, you are my knight in shining armor, if you will. Spanky will be there, but that man, you can't trust him to be there and be square. So that's why I'm looking for a doula. Okay, but um, so, so here's the thing when I, I'm happy to, you know, help and if it can't be me, then I have, like I said, uh, another <laughs> course of, uh, I have okay. a tribe of women, of wonderful women that are doulas. Amazing. But, you actually, but, but here's the thing, I'm not a midwife, though. Oh. So you would need, yeah, you would need a midwife. If it's, oh. And if we for medical attention. Okay. Yeah, I, so I'm not medically inclined at all. Like, I'm a doula. It's more of a support system. Yeah. And for postpartum support system. But I'm not allowed to, like, um, help deliver the baby. So okay. Baby. <clears throat> all right, Mitzi, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm about to shit my pants. This, this These babies are sitting on my colon. I got to get off here, but I'll call you back, okay? Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye, honey. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was so good. That was the best. I, Your cousin oh is so God. sweet. Yes. She's like, I'm not going to leave you. Oh, my God. No, that's, that's so fucking funny. I'm so glad I thought of her. Oh, oh, I don't think she was catching on to it at all. I Okay, <laughs> honestly, when she said, I said, I number. I was like, this she knew. bitch knows. Yeah, she's like, but, really? <laughs> no, I think you like totally got her though. I think yeah. I think you got it. I think you got it enough because like you said the name of the hospital. <laughs> Dude, how do you do that? Literally, I literally I like <laughs> I, want, I want that clip though, because I think that would be a viral print call. Oh yeah, we can totally. get any of the clip. And it would be good advertisement <laughs> for y'all. Yes, totally. <laughs> That is oh, some good shit. I'm that I'm is. so impressed with the way she responded. Me too. Yeah, I'm so impressed. Funny. She's so sweet. Oh. Oh, so funny. That was so good. I, I guess I'll know if she like if she reaches out to me in the next like yeah. 20 minutes yeah. if she yeah. thinks it was me. I don't think so because I have not talked to her in a little while. No, she was so yeah. there's and no reason. Yeah, so oh my sweet. god, eating the mucus plug. I was losing my shit. That's so <laughs> From funny. Reddit. I don't know why, but that's like the one thing I remember from my OB class in nursing school was about the mucus plug. Like, I don't remember anything else. (laughs) Yeah, they're like a nurse, duh. (laughs) Ew, who would eat that? That's like what comes out like when you first go into start. Yeah, that's your water breaking, right? No, you can lose your mucus plug before that. Oh, but yeah. What was that like? Take it out. Was it big? No. (laughs) (laughs) They can like uh, scrape it and like get it out. And I just didn't want to do it because I was like, they kept. I hated them touching my cervix, so I was like, so I'm, not, I'm not into that. I'll let it fall out on its own. Did it? I don't remember. I don't <laughs> think so. I thought they had to break my water, so I was induced. So and anyway. it came out and just landed somewhere. You never yeah, saw. Yeah, maybe Josh <laughs> ate it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Part is good for allergies. So. Oh, my God. That's so, so funny, because I know oh people my. do eat the placenta, but I don't know. Okay, I don't the mucus plug. <laughs> did you eat your placenta? No. <laughs> I, I don't think wish I, I did, it. though. Like, I wish I did the capsules oh Mitzi, get it made in ca- Mitzi's a so huge advocate for, for the capsules yeah. as you can tell it's she actually was... supposed to be amazing for you if it was in a capsule but, i could do it but i don't think yeah. i could just like eat it just, like, like get steak. a fork <laughs> oh no yeah that's well, what you're, you're supposed, did, you're supposed to cook it yeah you're supposed mm-hmm. to like saute yeah. it add some yeah. on jersey shore mike's oh. wife put in a smoothie they like drank it together mm. he drank it too Ew, there's no reason for him to drink it though there's literally no vitamins i don't know not for him i don't think it's good for like anybody oh just filled with vitamins right placenta all right so this is my friend Paige. Okay. Oh, she works at Mountain Business Products. If you need any business supplies. Hi, honey. This is Sue. I'm just wanting to inquire um, with Paige about some stuff. About what? Some stuff that I'm looking for my business. Um, somebody's calling you, trying to solicit, or? No. Um, I'm wanting to look for Paige. I'm wanting to talk to Paige. Are you Paige? Oh, no, let me get her for you. Sorry, one second. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Paige. My name is Sue. I'm a friend of your daddy's. Uh, Jay. I call him Jay Bird. Um, <laughs> me and him are thick as thieves, but I've heard about you. 
products and I'm wanting to inquire. Yeah, what are you, um, what are you looking for? Well, I've got a, it's basically a crematory business. And I'm, you know, that's the thing nowadays because we're running out of land to put people in the ground. Um, so I'm thinking of creative ways to get it out there so people can pre-plan their funeral and go ahead and book a cremation for themselves or okay. loved ones. Yeah, so... Um, it would be really funny to get, get some lighters or something like that with it on there. Yeah, that would be really funny. We could definitely do that. Amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, man, your daddy, I, your dad is something else. Oh, Jay, you know what he used to do? What? He used to sneak into the women's restroom at school and shit on the floor. Yeah, he was a wild man. I always covered for him, told him it was me, because you know that's something that's worth expulsion. Yeah. Did he ever tell you that story? I bet he did, and he's probably too embarrassed. No, no, I've heard a lot of stories, but that's a new one. You'll have to ask him about it. Say Sue told me. Okay. Yeah. Well, honey, speaking of shit, I, I've ate a dragon fruit, and I'm about to piss myself through my asshole, so I gotta get off here. Okay. I'll call back in a minute. Okay. Bye. <laughs> well, that's how you say it. Like you'll call back oh, in a minute. Oh, fast. <laughs> she sounded very sus. Yeah, it's very sus. She was like, she was oh like, I don't God, know about that. That was good. That was good though. Ooh. And Jay is like a really funny guy. So <laughs> yes, yeah, the worst show on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's so awesome. All right, should we do some fan? Yeah, submitted? let's do All some, right, fan let's do some fan submitted. Tab. While y'all look for the fan ones, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Okay. Not to shit, just to pee. Real quick. You don't have to shit. <laughs> you can shit on the ground, yeah, honey. You Whatever, you <laughs> Whatever you need. Whatever you need. I don't want y'all to see what I'm capable of. So, <laughs> to all my parents out there, you know the value of a good night's sleep more than anyone else because trying to parent when you are sleep deprived is about the worst thing in the world. And of course, everyone has to go through that. But at some point, you really want to start working towards having your child sleep through the night. I know it's every parent's goal and uninterrupted sleep is mm, just worth everything in the world. And one thing that we have done during the night is use the best quality diapers possible to minimize our nightly interruptions. And for us, switching to Coterie diapers at night has changed the game because Coterie diapers are designed for a better night sleep. They minimize leaks, blowouts, and diaper rash so that you and your baby can enjoy a more comfortable, dry, and most importantly, uninterrupted sleep. They have up to 70% more liquid capacity and absorb four times faster by moving liquid away from the skin within 15 seconds, keeping your baby drier than the leading diaper brands. And I have to say, guys, I've tried all the diapers out there. These are by far the softest and the best quality diapers. I cannot believe how well they work. I think they... It must be magic because the way that they can keep your child dry is truly unbelievable. Coterie diapers are fragrance-free, hypoallergenic, and made with responsibly sourced plant-based materials, all while feeling soft as cashmere on your baby's bottom. They also have been awarded Best Diaper by Parents.com and Babylist. It's time you use a better diaper. And right now, Coterie is partnering with our podcast to offer you 20% off your first order, plus free shipping at Coterie.com, promo code SESH. That's Coterie spelled C-O-T-E-R-I-E.com. Promo code SESH for 20% off your first order and free shipping. Coterie.com, promo code SESH. Hello. Hi, honey. This is Sue. How are you doing? Uh, I'm looking. Hello? Hi, can you hear me okay? Yeah. I'm looking for Jewel. Who is this? My name is Sue. Um, I heard you're a bartender, Jewel. Mm-hmm. Um, I just had a, a question for you, an inquiry, a business inquiry. Okay, yeah. How did you uh, get in touch with me? Did somebody recommend you? Yeah, yes. Um, I can't remember their name, but you've done a, an event for them before bartending. Okay. Um, I would love to have you bartend for my Swingers Club <laughs> annual meeting. Uh, do you have a date? 
for that? Not set in stone yet, but if you're interested, you know, some people are real conservative and uppity and won't associate with the swingers. Oh, well, I mean, hey, money's money and business is business to me. I don't, really don't care what people's personal life preferences are. So. You're my kind of gal, honey. Um, <laughs> do you make any specialty pineapple drinks to be on theme? I mean, I'm sure I could figure out a bunch. Yeah, I've been doing this for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, are you, are you with someone? Like, are you in a relationship, honey? No. Well. Oh, man. They hung up. Oh, oh dang it. Joel, dang it. come on. Oh, <laughs> she got uh, weirded out. All right, that Sad. was the first fan submitted that we were able to We've get through. We've tried like, like five. Yeah. Do you need more water, Sue, for your Sue voice? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Spanky. Can you get me some water? <laughs> Spanky. <laughs> <laughs> so her name is Lane. Lane. Laney. Okay. Hello? Hi, honey. Is this Laney? Is this Laney? Honey? I can hear you. Can... This is Sue. Who can... is that? My name is Sue. I, I'm okay. Tyler's. I'm I'm a relative of Tyler's, and I was wondering, Laney, why I hadn't gotten an invite to the wedding yet. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I can't really hear you. Are you in a bad service area, honey? Can you hear me better now? Can you hear me better yeah. now? Okay, I yeah. just moved. All right. Ah. Who is this? My name is Sue. Uh, I am one of Tyler's relatives. Um, hi. hi, it's nice to meet you. I take it he's never mentioned me. No, I mean, is this a joke? <laughs> I wish it was because my feelings are really hurt for not being invited to the wedding. Is that a joke? Uh, I'm I'm so sorry. I um It's okay, I just nobody wants me in this family, I can tell, and I just thought this would be the time I could finally reconnect. I was put in prison one time years ago when the family has just ostracized me. That is not godly. Um, I'm so sorry. I don't want to come off as impolite. I did not mean to assume this was a joke. It's, who are you related to on Tyler's side? Well, I am. I'm his second cousin once removed. Okay. Tyler. <laughs> Who is... I... I... <laughs> okay, if this is a joke, you gotta stop it now. <laughs> I wish it was, honey. It's not a joke. Everybody thinks I'm a joke. I'm a real woman. Uh, I'm... I was even going to bring a gift. But you know what? You could keep your wedding invite. I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really thought this was Tyler playing a prank on me. It's okay, honey. I forgive you just as God forgives me every day for Jane smoking a lot of cigarettes, you know. And we all sin in our own ways. I'm, I am. Can I, can I call you back? That's fine. Yeah. I am so sorry. I would just really love to be able to spend some time to talk to you. Can I call you back? Yeah. Thank you so much. I will be right back. Thank you. Okay, honey, bye. <laughs> so okay. Oh, that was actually one of our friends, Lainey, who's getting married this weekend. Oh, like, oh, she's, so nice. oh, she's, she's so, so nice. nice. So I didn't mean to. Sorry, I didn't mean to be impolite. <laughs> that was I want to so spend good. Time talking. You have to tell her. Yeah, yeah. we got to tell her. She thought it was Tyler. <laughs> Should I send her a text? Friend. Like. Um, Just give it a few minutes to send yeah. her. Let her, her call uh, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, did you um, or should I like say, did Sue reach out to you yet? Like later on, we should like on. get yeah. this recording yeah. and play it at the yeah, wedding. We 
<laughs> you should be like, Cindy, you should be, you should call me like, hey, like, I got a weird, weird call from this lady named Sue looking for, looking for Lainey. And oh, she asked for your phone God, number. That is so funny. Or something, okay. I don't know. We've tried a bunch of the fan submitted ones. None Literally, of them have Really, none of answered. you will respond except for one. So, well, it's not them. It's their right. contact. Yeah, it's but not yeah. your fault. Unfortunately, no one's answering. So we're going to try some local businesses real quick before we wrap up. Because... <laughs> Sue sometimes fun. calls out of work. That's yeah. pretty good. Let's She's try a, like the Waffle House. She's All got right. some GI problems. Yeah. We're calling oh up the Waffle House. <laughs> I love the Waffle House. It's Ew. a good time to call too because it's only 3.30. So I feel yeah. like that's a weird time of the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're not like s- super busy or anything. Yeah. Because okay. sometimes I feel bad calling businesses if they're like slamming. Fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me too. It's when I did the Circle K video, I got so much hate on that. Because, like so many comments saying like, how could you waste people's time like that? But I lived right across the road from it and I could see the cars. <laughs> There's no one there. <laughs> and yeah, I try to be strategic. Yeah. yeah. It's all fun. It's all fun and games. It is. It's, it's meant to be fun. Goofs and gaffs. They're giving people laughs, which make people stay alive longer. So true. Let's just release let's just endorphins. settle down. Okay. It's true. Prank what call. if Lainey calls back <laughs> to chat? <laughs> Oh, can she call that number back? She did yeah. say she's gonna call back. Okay. Well, oh my if she God. calls, let's hang up on whoever else because that's that'll be worth it. Mm-hmm. Then you should pull <laughs> one of your GI things with her on the phone because she's yeah, laughing. Right. <laughs> you type in oh, we need, oh, our, so we need the fart machine, right? Oh, I'm the fart machine. Oh yeah, <laughs> come over here. Crowley's gonna be no, our I'm fart machine sure. today. I wish I would have brought one of my fart machines. I have so many. <laughs> really? I really do. <laughs> Like an actual fart machine. Iconic. Yeah. A lot of different types. People like to send me those to my P.O. box. Oh, amazing. Oh, I love that. So funny. Hit it. Charlie, what are Charlie's going to do the fart sounds. This is the Waffle House. The Waffle House. Good afternoon, Waffle House. Dave speaking. How may I help you? Hey, honey, are you the manager? Speaking. All right, honey. God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm supposed to come in for a training session today. What? Damn it. I'm on the toilet. Oh, God. You know how when it just hurts. The muscles. Sorry, I can't speak. My name is Sue. I'm an orientee. I'm supposed to come in today. I'm not going to make it, honey. I'm on the toilet. (laughs) Oh. Spanky, bring some more toilet paper. Oh, God. I'm sorry, honey. I know you're well, cooking. Just give, yeah, just give us a call when you're feeling better. Okay, bye. <laughs> Damn it. He totally knew. <laughs> I bet people was you did so good. Yeah, that was really good. Girl. Okay. Excellent work. What else can we do that's like a little more believable? <sighs> was I farting too much? <laughs> no, <laughs> I think it was good. Gas. I think it was good. I thought it was a good amount. Uh, maybe. <laughs> All right, Subway. Subway. Hi, honey, this is Sue. Uh, I was supposed to come in for orientation today, but I'm not going to make it, honey. Oh, Oh, she knew. Fuck. Oh, we're on hold. Oh, maybe there's hope. Maybe (laughs) I'm going to be transferred to the manager. Maybe. She's like, not my problem. (laughs) Literally. Yeah. (laughs) I like the other one that's like a little got more of a bop to it. Yeah. I can't. I don't know. I can't even know. This one it goes around though. Ready? I've never heard this. What? Who? Okay, maybe not. Lainey's calling back. Oh, answer it. Okay, Wait, this is Lainey. Which one is this? The, the one wedding one. Tyler's okay. Tyler. Beyonce. Okay. Hello. Hi, is this Sue? Yeah, honey, this is Sue. Hi, this is Lainey calling you back. I'm sorry, I was driving, so I couldn't hear you very well. My service wasn't great. Oh, I'm glad um, you weren't texting and driving or calling, you know, being on your phone. That's good. So, Sue, I am so sorry that we haven't had the chance to, to meet. Um, and where where are you living at? Where are you at right now? I'm in Colorado, honey. I know my, you know, I'm in Colorado. Oh, okay. Yeah. I am... I am I know that I had mentioned a, an aunt named Sue, but I didn't think she lived in in Colorado. Yeah, like I said, they don't talk about me much. And you're on whose? I'm sorry, whose side are you on? I'm on Tyler's side. I know, and who on Paul or Jane? Sorry, Paul. 
Oh, Paul. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm sorry that this is the way that we're being introduced to each other. Um, it's okay, honey. I, I, um, I really hope, I'm, and I, I'm, I'm sorry that, you know, it's a week before the wedding and we're having this conversation. Um, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm just sorry about the situation. I really am. I forgive you, honey. Um, did you just have a wedding in the family as well? No. The hell? Okay. So, I could have sworn when I just talked to Leah, she said that your daughter had just gotten married. I never said such a thing. Oh, no, Leah. Leah had told me that. Leah? Uh, yeah. Tyler's sister? Yeah. Oh, that's my stepdaughter. I don't claim her. I don't claim her. Okay. All right. Well, Sue, I'm so sorry um, for the um, the invite and and thinking that this is a joke. Um, I hope you can keep the sincere apology from Tyler and I. It's fine. Just know that we didn't mean me. It's fine. Can I still come though? Well, unfortunately, no. I'm sorry. We're at our capacity. That's fine. I bet you don't even have smoking sections anyway, do you? I wouldn't last there a damn hour. Mm-hmm. Nope. Unfortunately, we don't have any smoking sections. Well, I got y'all a bidet, so I'll send it in the mail. <laughs> oh, <I'm- laughs> Wait, <wait>. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn it. Sorry, oh, oh my god, god. that's so funny. <laughs> What's on brand for like redneck Sue? Um, um, Cabela's. 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 Okay, we're gonna try Cabela's, which is like a sporting goods kind of situation. I'm just gonna call him from my number because I don't care. Yeah, there you go. For calling Cabela, our world foremost outfitters are excited to help you get connected to the great outdoors. To better assist you, please listen to the following options. For store hours and location, press 1. Hell yeah. God <laughs> damn. Thank you for calling Cabela's important. Hi, honey, I didn't have any direct contact, but I'm not going to make it in for my orientation shift. I was supposed to be in the gun department, but, honey, when I tell you I came down with something sick, I have, and I went to the doctor, and they were doing my anal exam, and they saw a mole. They said they need to remove it emergently, so that's going to be this evening when I'm supposed to come in for my training. Okay, and your name? Sue. Pardon me? Sue. Who? No, S-U-E, honey, Sue. Like a boy named Sue, but I'm a woman. Last name? Dylan. D-I-L-L-O-N. And you're, you were hired at the gun counter for Cabela's? Yes, honey, I was, and today's my first day of training. I couldn't get in touch with no one directly, but like I said, I've got an emergency procedure to remove a mole from my ass. You need to call the call out line. Let me give that to you. Okay. Thank you. Writing it down. 6080. All right, honey. Nice to meet you. I'll see you around town. I'm just wanting to inquire about a good coyote shooting gun. Good coyote shooting gun. You know what? Let me get down over to firearms. They can answer your questions there, then. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah. Well, it's done, Connor. Hi, honey. This is Sue. I was just transferred to you because I'm looking for a good coyote shooting gun. I'm not understanding your question. 
Um, I just need a gun that I can kill these damn coyotes with. There, there's an infestation in my yard. And I'm still not understanding what you're asking me. Do you speak English? This is English. Okay, then. I do, too. So we should get along just fine. But I'm just looking for a gun to shoot these coyotes with. To do, to do what, I'm sorry? To shoot the coyotes. Oh, coyotes, okay. Yes, honey, heavens to Betsy's. Okay, what a lot of those little true coyotes, what are uh, you looking for specifically? I just want one that's stealthy and worthy of getting the job done. Well, we've got about probably 300 of them. Right, that's why I'm calling you. You're the supposed yeah. expert, right? I'm not an expert in coyote shooting. Well, is it coyote? Is that what it is? Plural. I'm sorry, I didn't understand your dialect there. I said, if you're going to work at a country store, you should be able to understand the country dialect. Honey, first off, but that's okay. We'll get you there. But I'm wondering, I know there's 300 guns, but what's the best type to shoot a coyote right in the ass? Don't know. Do you not have experience? I just want something with a little kick. We got about 300 of those. All right, honey. Well, I don't know what to say. Maybe I'll just go to go in person. I don't know. Hell. Yeah, that'd be fine. Just come on in. Can I test them out? Uh, No, you can't. Well... These are new guns. Well, shit. Just test them out, and they're used guns. Right. That's what happens. Well, um, you'll see more of me soon, because I, like I said, I can't let my wiener dogs go out here no more. I'm afraid they're going to get ate up by damn coyote. Yeah, we sure don't want that. That's, you're right. Yeah. Well, thank you, honey. Have a blessed day. Thank you, sir. I'm a woman, honey. <laughs> That happens to me all the time. That's so fucking good. I love that. I'm a woman. That was amazing. Do you speak English? I'm speaking English. Oh my God. Okay, I have time for one more. I have time for one more. Just one more. Okay. That was so funny. Maybe, um... Yeah. Oh. End with the bang. uh, Yeah, let's do Michael Kors. Do you need a minute to think or you got it? I'm good. I think I have. I am. You... Like, I want the one that like Nicki Minaj has or something. I don't know. Okay. Does she <laughs> is she Michael Kors? I think so. That was fucking Michael Kors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She does say it in one of her songs. Okay, let me look it up real quick. Michael Kors, this is Haley. How can I help you? Hi, uh, I'm wanting to inquire about a purse. Okay, which purse are you looking for? I want the one like Mi- Nicki Minaj has. I'm scared to talk louder. Can you speak up a little bit, honey? I can't. No, I know it's Michael Kors. Um, yeah, I would need like a name or a style number. I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Okay. Now, can I ask you another question? Yeah. What's the difference between yours and uh, Coach? Coach, and also like these Chinese websites have them for way cheaper, and I think that they're just as good, right? Is that where y'all manufacture? I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, the ones from China are just as good, right? Like, what's the difference between yours and theirs? By China, you mean, like, actually purchasing them in that country, or...? You can order them online. I ain't going there myself, but yeah, I order them online. They ship. It takes them a long time to get here, about 30 days, but I can get the same purse for, like, the dance-ass one is the one I want. I can get that one for... $20. Twenty dollars. They smell real. And be sourcing from China, so that would probably be a fake. Maybe so, but they smell real. So I'm wondering, are they like taking them out of the dumpster and reselling them? Like, is it the same shit? You know. <laughs> well, if that's the case, then it would be the same price. Right. Where do y'all manufacture your stuff? Um, it depends on. The- yeah. What about the dance-ass one? The one that's in the dance-ass video. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? 
Yeah, again, I'm I'm not sure which which bag you're talking about. If you had a name, I could I could definitely help further. You must not be really into Nicki Minaj. It's one of her music videos. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Okay. Um, do y'all sell thong underwear? Do not. <laughs> Shit. I'm wanting to, you know, get one. My shopping spree done in one place. <laughs> okay, is there anything else I can help with? No, honey, but I hope you have a delightful day. You too. Bye. Damn it. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, you're good. Oh, oh no, that was good. <laughs> Did you sell dong underwear? That was really good. No, I'm surprised they don't. I thought they would. <sighs> Ugh. That was, that that clothes, was good. right? Yeah. I, I don't so. know how you do this without cracking up. I can bear I'm like losing my shit over here. I feel like I I do like when I think about them later on. Like I'll be taking a shower and I'll like <laughs> Yeah. I'll be like, you remember that one? I'll talk to my husband. Like, you remember that one? That's like, and he was like, yeah. I was like, that was a good one. That's so do you ever fun. have like a? Do you have a trick to keep yourself from laughing? Do you like pinch I, yourself yeah. or something? No, I don't know why. I really don't know why I don't laugh. Like sometimes I do laugh, especially when other people are laughing. But <laughs> it's always been hard. I was trying not to look at you. I literally had to turn my entire body away from you. It was like I can't even watch this happen. Like, go on the bench. Oh my I god! I feel like I just so dissociate funny. in a way, or like maybe it's because at work I can't like react to stuff, and I'm oh, good yeah. at it from there. I don't know. True. But okay. it is like it is funny to me, and I am laughing on the inside. But <laughs> oh my god, that was absolutely hilarious. Thank you for Thank coming you so much. That made my whole. Yeah, it was such a great time. If you are ever so back in Colorado, please. hit us up. Hit us up. We would love to have you back on the show. This was so much fun. Again, where can people find you? Um, you can find me on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, and. I have a link tree on my Instagram and TikTok oh, to find everything. We'll but link that too. It's okay. a Sarasota Five is my username. Sarasota Five. Okay, like the the city. Sarasota? Yeah, but soda with the oh, teeth. like a soda. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was my I nickname in middle school because I always won the sparkle spelling game, and I would always win a soda. So people oh, called me Sarasota. Oh, Sarasota. 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 Mm, that's we good. That. Yeah. That's good. Well, it's been so much fun hanging out with y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yes. Thank you, Sue. Yes. Thank you, Sarah. Thank Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, honey. So much. (laughs) So much. Too much. Thank you. Thank you so much. much. Thank you, honey. Have a blessed day. Thank you, honey. We'll see you on the next edge. But until then, keep it fresh. (laughs) 